upside down. Hi everyone, welcome to the Sugar and Crumbs kitchen. Well today we have the fabulous Jerry Chew in the kitchen which we're always really very pleased to see. In fact all our guests are amazing, we only have really nice people here at Sugar and Crumbs. Um, so Jerry has been teaching today, sorry I thought Simon was looking at me weird when he said we only have nice people here at Sugar and Crumbs but he wasn't, he was looking at his computer. Um, so we've had Jerry here today doing a class which I'm going to tell you a little bit more in a moment but I'm just going to say hi Simon. Hi Carol. <laughs> Hi everyone. Hi Jerry. <laughs> Hi Jerry. Due to social distancing, she's down there, so she's not coming on camera for the moment. Where I just talked to you about a few things. Um, just to give you some updates, uh, first class of the year, so we are really chuffed. I have had loads of people message me this evening to say what a fabulous day they've had, and I'm ever so pleased. So we'll talk about that in a moment. We've got more classes coming up. So we've got the next class that's coming up is the. Um, fairy tree cake, uh, fairy tree house cake, is it? It's like a carved tree and everything, uh, with Julie Rogerson. Get booked on that class if you want to get, book, get to book on it. Um, I put the fairy mold doors in, there's enchanted door in stock, uh, lots of things, but not only will you learn how to carve a tree trunk, um, you'll learn how to make some fairies and you'll learn how to make some other bits and bobs in there, so something really quite exciting, especially for all the kiddies who love things like that. So certainly a class you should think about. Um, and then I also updated stock. The only thing I haven't updated is Rainbow Dust. I'm going to do that after the live. I just couldn't catch up with everything today. So let's talk about what's on the table here. So we're going to go to the overhead, Simon. So look at these beauties here. So these ones here in this row down here there is what Jerry did last time. She brought them. Well, she didn't do them live for you. She, this was her... Uh, her uh, thing for us to show you what she was going to do in the class so the class we did today was facial expressions and then today she's done all these beauties and they are fabulous oh but this was simon wasn't it oh they're still <laughs> soft here's the new simon <laughs> do you like that one simon is it better than that one <laughs> and look at the size of the heads jerry's gone for something bigger as well so you know, but uh, he's smiling more on this. Look oh, at this. Oh, it's eh? nicer, isn't it? So, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you look happier on there, don't you? So, um, <laughs> but you know, aren't they great? Look at this. And she showed you how to do a few hair techniques in the class today as well. This is what happens with the tutors. When they send a picture in, on the picture, you get so much more than what you actually do from the picture. Because from the picture, we can't tell you everything. I can only, you know, the shooters at home, they do a quick design and then they, they send it over to me and that's all I can show you. But anybody who's been in the classes, I'm sure you can all put your hands up and vouch that every single tutor whose class you've been in gives you more than what's ever on the picture. And it's all the hints and tips and skills. It's just everything. But I love this. Let's go back over here instead of you looking at me them but look at this isn't she cute look and the hair as well love that ponytail you yeah can the doll with the oh I'll let you sort that out afterwards yeah. I'm not being blamed for anything <laughs> and then look at this one look I love this the curly locks on here look look at all the curls isn't that brilliant and look at the smiles I just love them they're beautiful and um, in fact I probably if I made these I think I'd just keep them like this just to look at them and stroke them and Karen said she was watching this one today and how it came to light just by putting some eyeshadow on. And uh, I love all the tongue features and things like that. So if you want, these are like sort of caricature faces. So if you're wanting to learn how to make models and faces, um, you know, if you want to know how to make models, you've really got to sort your faces out first. And this class is one to do. So if you still want to sign up for this, you can. It's going to be available forever for people to join. But it's certainly the right way to get going for sourcing out your models. Then the next thing is, um, Jerry is going to do the princess cake next month, which is this one. I'm not going to lift it up, which is this one. So lots of you have signed up for this and you don't have to do it in blue. You can do it in any color you want, pale pink, red, white. You can do it as a bride. You don't have to put the hood on. You can put more hair on. This is what I say, when Jerry does the class on the day, she'll show you other elements that you can do. So if you don't want a cloak, then don't put a cloak on. But at least you know how to do a cloak. So if you want a hair with all trailing hair down and stuff like that, those are things that you can do. There's lots of other elements in this class. There's all the ruffles, there's the cake lace. So a fantastic fantastic class for you to join and this one when are you doing this one 22nd of february 
22nd of February, so you need to get booked on this one. So there's loads of fabulous classes. And then in class today, Jerry brought this just so that she could pop the heads on. She's gonna pop a couple of heads on anyhow. But she brought this, so everybody in class today said, can they do a limbs and body class? So what do you think's coming up next then for March? <laughs> limbs and bodies. <laughs> <laughs> so there she'll go into more detail about how to make legs, bodies, arms, hands, you know, so it's going to be a brilliant class. So then you'll learn how you've got, you'll know how to do your heads, you'll know how to do your faces, your smiles, your hair, and then you make some bodies. So isn't that a great uh, selection of classes? So um, Jerry is in, in tonight and because she's been here all day, she's doing a live for us and we mentioned about doing some cute models. So I think you're going to do, what is it, the year of the cow this year, did you say? Yeah, so some are farm animals, I think, but we'll have a cow as our main feature. Yeah, did you hear that? So we're going to have a cow as our main feature and a couple of farm animals. And as per usual, because she's the queen of cake lace, because there was going to be no cake lace in this, I've asked her to get out my box of cake lace and just to go over it with you again. So she's not going to make anything with it. She's just going to show you how to make it and just troubleshoot a few things. Do we need the food mixer out? Or can yeah. you mix it by hand? It's better with a food mixer. Right, okay, well you've got one here, so you yeah. just stand back down there and I'll plug this in. Just one second. Oh, Let me just plug this in a minute, girls. One minute, one minute, one minute, one minute. So, and guys, if there's any guys out there. So there's me on comments, so I can't say anything and loads any at the moment. Karen's been here all day doing comments. I think she's commented out, is she? Yeah, she's worked really hard today. <laughs> she works hard every day. She does. So, uh, there we go. Right, there's that. Right, okay. So I'll get Simon to adjust the camera. Sorry for disappearing off camera there for you. So I just thought, you know, while Jerry's here, let's take that opportunity and just go over the cake place again because I know so many of you love it. So I'm going to buzz off and sit over there. I'll be answering comments. Ask me what you like. And uh, we're in for a great night. So see you soon. Right, Jerry. Are you putting the... Form? What am I doing? Back, Get back. Or... Pardon? Are you putting the, the, the young lady back? Is she going back or are you keeping her there? I'm just going to give um, just go through her briefly just to see... Okay. Um, Don't want to get in... In the way. Not, not looked off or... <laughs> Taking all the glory. <laughs> hmm. Right. Hello. Happy New Year and thank you for having me back. Oh, I've got to say that. And I've got... Um, an extra tummy, I've just noticed. <laughs> you have the last not game. got an I extra have. tummy. It's gone there. Listen, you and have an that. extra tummy when you have one like mine. Oh no, it's, like, I don't know, it's just all the liquids I've been drinking today because I've just been like this all day through class and it's just been filling up all liquids. So, um, so thank you for having me back. And as um, Carol said, we have done one class today already and then we have our final class that's already up online and that's the princess doll. So the princess cake uh, goes into detail on how to carve the dress completely out of cake. Um, which I think you get better use of your skills and it can take it on to make other things. We talk about how to make little ruffles like on the side of this cake here, which you'll also be good for using if you ever do wedding cakes in future. So it's not just for that, you can always use it for a ruffle cake. We also go touch down on a bit of cake lace on there. Um, it's not a necessity, so if you want to do the class and you don't like cake lace, you can still do it without the cake lace. I just think it adds a bit of extra detail and as always, we throw in a bit more for you in the class. And finally, we also learn how to do heads um, and you'll get to make a figure with um, the head as you see here and that's done completely from scratch so if you've never done faces before the one we did today is a really good class to go on to kind of give you the basics to talk about colour tones so skin tones, expressions, basic ways to make shapes of heads and also a little bit touch down on hair and then this is the next one so if you are interested then join up um, we'll be doing it next month Oh, I've just knocked off all the sugar. The sugar. Oh, don't worry about that. that. Don't worry about that. Right. Hopefully that stays. And then, and then um, so when we did the class today, we've made all these heads, and I made some uh, models ahead of time just to show you what they look like on um, a figure. So I've done three figures here, which one's standing. We've got one that's sitting down with the leg up, and then we've got another lady that's sitting down here. So if I just grab some heads and just pop them on, just so you can see what they look like. Let's see, there's the lady. 
So lots of hellos, um, Jerry. Um, over 300 watching tonight, so oh, well lovely. done. Thank you for so joining. We've got a fantastic audience. That was very quick, wasn't it? Yeah, it when was. we go in 11 minutes, well done. There we go, and we've got heads on our bodies. So, oh God, it's don't like they look different arm. again? Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Oh, so it's, like a, it's a full set. And if you see these little mini models down here, these are actually made by my children. So this weekend, I promised them that I would let them do some model making because they've been really they've been working hard at homeschool. So um, my eight-year-old Stephanie made um, a rabbit. I don't know if you can see the rabbit. I'll put it on the side there. And then uh, she made this little baby pig to go to with mummy pig. pig. So, so there's, there's the, the rabbit. rabbit. And then and there, there is, is a little, little baby pig, pig hiding behind that lady's foot back there. there. And then Lizzie, the, the ten-year-old, she's, she's done um, our dog noodles. noodles. And then, and then she's she made, made a girl and a boy figure as well. She's fantastic for a ten-year-old. So again, this is just a play. So I mean, it takes some time to watch what I do and then they. They kind of join along when they fancy it. So, something to learn for everyone, no matter what your age. And then you go at your own pace as well, all these classes. So, um, let me just pop these heads away. Yes, well, let me just tell you something before you do. Yeah. The ladies have asked, because I've only just jumped on comments, can they have a close-up of the princess? Yeah. And then, should we tell them about our opinions of the eyes and the reason yes. why you did them that way? Yeah. Because <laughs> Karen and I had a very long conversation about the princess eyes today, so I'll get Jerry to tell you about them. So, well, it'd be nice to know what you said. I think people, it's important for people to kind of know where the conversation stemmed from. She looked a bit weird. <laughs> You know I'm brutal nicely. about these things. Yeah. <laughs> but you know what? It's good. It's good to hear it. So we want to know. It's good to troubleshoot. Right. All my heads are in boxes. I'll put these to one side and then I'll come back with the princess. Yes. Yeah, so they want to have a look. So she's a bit dusty because she's been here. Well, how long has she been here now? She's been here three months, has she? <laughs> yeah. She's I think she has been here about three months or four <laughs> months, hasn't she? Right. I'll take so, the stand. Yeah. And then I'll just walk So over. I was telling Jerry this morning. Jerry, not being funny, but um, <laughs> is there a reason why she's looking a bit cross-eyed? So, go on then, Jerry. So, right, so if you can, I'm going to see if we can pan her a bit on the other on the other camera and then you'll be able to get a closer look at her. I think he's just put that She's going to feel very you. paranoid now, but she, you won't <laughs> staring at her face. Why are you saying that about her? That's Why crazy. About her? I know, it's very <laughs> rude, isn't it? No, I'm joking. So, <laughs> right, so the whole idea of the, um, when you, we kind of touched Touch down, down on this in the class, class so, so if you can see, see you want to spin around this way. way. Right. right. So, so she, she looks, looks a bit, bit like she's cross-eyed, cross -eyed, but if you, you look, look at um, Disney, Disney characters and Karen Mine characters, characters, they tend to always face um, with their eyes towards the centre, so they do look, look a little bit more cross-eyed when, when you draw it in animation. Let me just say, Kathy Eaton says, Carol, you really need to get off that fence and say what you really mean. Yeah, I'm all for it. So yeah, so you look at this one. Again, we do discuss a lot of uh, facial expressions in the in the class that we did today so if you feel um the, you, when you do that class it helps you to build on your figures for yourself and then if we um look at this one and say i'll show you how to move the eyes a little bit so if you don't like the way she looks we can change that but um the reason is because a lot of the disney ones uh, if you look on if you do it on google you'll be able to see them they kind of have a slightly uh bog eyed look right just let me stop we've got a problem with the echo it says okay. the echo on the side camera is that this one? So, just a minute, we're just going to have a little look. We might just have to do a couple of claps and a little ping pong. <laughs> what is it? Do we know what the problem is? Oh, let me get some water. So, it's all right. Simon's realised what it is. Oh, okay. So, should we do some little click claps? Ping pongs? No. no? Is it gone? Yeah. It's gone. We know what the problem is. <laughs> so, would you need to, do I need to get Jerry to repeat all that again then? Right. Which bit do you need me to repeat? <laughs> I'm just waiting for them. So right. we, yeah, they're all saying that's better. Okay. Great. So, Jerry, would you just like to repeat everything you said? So, right. would you want so, to explain why she's cross-eyed then? <laughs> Let's go back for it. So the it. reason she's cross-eyed is because um, a lot of Disney characters or man, um, anime characters tend to have their eyes facing more in the centre. It's kind of like a cute look. So they, if you look um, online, you will notice that they are veered more towards the centre of their eyes. Um, so they do come across as a little bit bog-eyed, but you can change it very easily. So if you don't like that style, I'll show you in the class how to alter it so that it's a more preferred look for you. But you do learn a lot of it in the expressions class we did today as well, so that kind of helps if you've done that class, 
to then move on to this one. Yeah, because they weren't cross-eyed in class today, were no, they? No, yeah, it's just the way... After me having a word with her. It's a certain style. When she was trying to tell me about this cartoon look, I said, well, can we just try and get to a bit of a normal look? <laughs> yeah, we're that not all living in a really cartoon weird. world. If, if, if one of her eyes was at the other side, it would yeah, be Yeah, it it's a very... It would be a... Just a different alteration, right? I'm just going to fix. Very strange. Just whilst I've got it, I've noticed her because she's been sat here that long. She's shrivelled up a little bit, poor lady. <laughs> so her wrist has broken up. a bit. She's so having a hard time. Shrivelled up and cross-eyed. I know. <laughs> Get in the street today. What's happening? <laughs> right. So she's got a bangle on her face. Anyhow, like everybody says so, she's amazing. So that's the close-up, and as I say, you do learn to do things like the ruffles. I'm just going to go higher. You can see the lovely ruffles on her dress. Um, it is a long process, but it's really fun to do. And again, it's one of those classes, as with many of the classes, if you learn how to, the best way to learn is to watch it first. And um, you can then take it on another day and, and uh, do the class at a later stage. Or you can do it in sections, because it is a long day, isn't it? It's, you know, it's a full day's class. If you we're, do... very, we're very much of the mind now that if you want to do the cake on the day, do it with us. Mm. But if you are falling behind, rather than us holding the class up and repeating, you sit down, have a cup of tea, sit back, watch the rest of the class, and then you start it again at your own time. Yeah. That way, Jerry and all the tutors can get in as much information as they can, rather than having to keep going over and repeating things. It makes it a lot easier. Yeah. Right, so um, we the plan today is to do a bit of waffle making, but before that, Carol, as she's, she has explained, we're just going to go a quick touch down on uh, cake lace, just because I'm here. <laughs> so um, I did do a live uh, on my cake page a couple of weeks ago, was it? Mm -hmm. um, however, I didn't have any ready-made cake lace. Well, I had, I had ready-made, I hadn't got the tub where it was in a powder form, so this is actually beneficial for those who might want to see how it's done from scratch. Do you need, do you need a whisk? Because I've got a battle beater on there. If you need a whisk, yeah. you just need to go down to the bottom corner. Do I get right to the bottom? Right bottom. Right corner at that, yep. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's a few. Are they all, do they all fit? Uh, Is that? That's not it. That's <laughs> I've, <laughs> I've the only one, one machine, <laughs> and you pick the Kenwood one. <laughs> right. Yep, there you go. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> I should know because I've got a Kenwood, so. Right, can I just okay. push it up? Push it up and then put it down here. Oh, Brilliant. Okay. Yeah. Right. Team Kenwood as a kitchen aid. So. Right, and the ready to see the same. You push it in. Yep, there you go. Is that it? Right. Oh, Get cool. the reverse to what you've just done. Right, that's nice and easy. I'm just trying to see a little glove. Right, so. Um, just to briefly go through the cake lace, you get two types of lace. So one is a pearlized, and they come in quite a lot of colours. You get gold, silver, pearlized white, rose gold, which is lovely, um, and a few other colours as well. Um, and they come ready made. So when you get them out your tub, so like this one, um, this is gold, and then this is pearl, the rose gold. When you open the tub, they come already mixed like that. So you can see, you just have an overhead there. Thank you, Simon. So there, that's what it looks like, and they're ready to go. You just spread them onto your mat, and then you let them dry. That's rose gold. And then this one is the gold. So again, open it up, and it's ready to go, and it's very sparkly. So that's a, it's a lovely mix. Now, if you wanna use the white mix, um, and also like the black mix, and a few other colors, they come in two parts. So. When you open your jar, you'll get um, a tub of powder and then some glucose syrup. So what we do is we need to measure this out accordingly. So I'm just going to grab my... Right, are you ready? Are you sing-song voice on? So it's Angela Gra Grabo. I, th I don't know when you say Grabo or Grabo birthday today. Aww. So happy birthday Angela. Happy Are you birthday. ready? Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to Angela. Happy birthday to you. <laughs> Great, now I'm singing as well. What else does she want me to do? <laughs> But Don't no, happy worry. birthday. And we're all socially distanced. I'm far enough away and Simon is hid behind the camera with his mask on. Yeah. Hence the muffled sounds from Simon. <laughs> <laughs> right. 
So <laughs> well, it's nice that we're like celebrating a birthday whilst we're doing cakey ish stuff. Everybody have got a cake. Everybody who's watching the class today said they thoroughly enjoyed watching it and preferred to watch it because they learned loads and they now know they can go back, stop, rewind, Fabulous. and do, do it again. And it is in so sections fantastic. as well, so you don't have to watch the whole thing again. You can just watch one section that applies to you on that day if you do projects. So yeah, it's really good. Um, and I'm really, I'm just surprised that you guys have spent the day with me and you still Why want to spend the day now. So, so I thought you were tired. I'm, I'm tired. Yeah, <laughs> just very interesting. It out. Just a, right. So um, let's pack on with the lace. So the easiest thing to do um, when you're making up your first batch of lace is to double the quantities that it says on the back of the tub. So the, the instructions are always there. Um, and it says to place 40 mils of water in with 42 grams of the white powder. And then you have to mix just two and a half teaspoons of that or two and a half grams. So because it's hard to mix two and a half grams of this, um, I double my proportions to make that into five grams. Try telling your kids this when you're homeschooling as well. <laughs> That's hard. <laughs> oh, I've just forgotten. I need to get a spoon to just get this um, mixed I've out. I've got so tiny one scales if you only want to make a small amount. And now it goes up to... I've got those. The little mini the scales. Yes. And I've also got the little um, shot glasses if you want them. What do you prefer to make? Glass? What do you mean by that? Oh, do you know what it is? It's because I've got to pour it into there. Ah, right, so okay. normally I would say yes. If you're only if you are only doing one batch, you can use a small one and pour it into a little tub. No, crack on. Right. Let me just see the see if I can fit this in. From this, you can show them how to cover it as well, can't you? To cover, cover it. Oh, color it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Definitely. If we if we put it on the thing, you could color some of it. Yeah. And then afterwards, Ooh. when it's dry, we could luster some of the white stuff. Oh, definitely. See, right. see how I've thrown these things spoon. on the shooters? <laughs> Why are you here? <laughs> Why are you here? Colour it, luster it, and if you, if you hang on, I might get, get the airbrush out. <laughs> uh, in the middle drawers, under your bag. Under what? Under your bag, under, in the middle drawers. Oh, Is right. that your orange bag? Yeah. Oh, there we go. Oh, they're cute. Right. Got two different sizes. Right, I've put a teeny bit too much, so... You meant to have... Well, a lot of people are saying they're glad you're doing cake lace because they've got it and they've forgot what to do with it. Ah, she, this is what Carol said. She goes, every time you come on, there'll still be people wanting to know about cake lace. So I'm happy to do it if you guys are. Mm -hmm. Right, so I've got 80 mil, 84 grams of the powder. And then we're going to tip in 80 millilitres of water. So just reset that. Here's a nice compliment from Teresa Hunt. It was the first time she'd been on a class and was really, really happy. She, had, she learned so much and thank you so much, Jerry. And must see if you have not got the class. So you can still buy the class. It's going to be available all year. So still buy it. So if you want to do models and how to do your faces properly, join on that class. £25. Sorry, I am listening. I'm just trying well, to no, you get this last two mils of water in. I don't want to overdo it. Why don't you just it. use measuring spoons? I know. <laughs> um, you know when you're almost there, you think, I should do that really. And I'm waiting for you to tell me to do that. <laughs> right, so that's what it looks like at the moment. It's just um, like, you know, runny water. It looks like water dough. Really so I'm going to put that in the mixer for about two minutes. That's very good with this mixer either. How do you take, put this thing down? Uh, well, hold, hold it, don't just drop it yet. Then go down. Oh, yeah. And then turn it on slowly. So the other side. Oh, there we go. Right, so I'm just going to do it on a low speed first just to help combine it so we don't get this cloud of um, powder. So Cicely is asking, can you make um, a fair amount of it and then keep it in the tub? You so can. let's say that tub there, let's say what she's asking is, can you make the whole tub in one go? You can. And put yeah. it back in that tub? So um, again, I did this on my live that I did on my own page where I um, had a 200 gram tub and I, that makes about four batches, four and a bit batches. So go with four and what happens is when this is mixed, it goes, I just put it in the tub to store it. And four, if you go for four batches, it literally goes almost to the top of this tub, so it's perfect. And once it's made, you can put it in the cupboard, and then you can store it in the cupboard until you need it. Right, I'm just going to turn it off. Make sure we get the edges. So cake lace is great, because you can use it, you can make it ahead of time, you can store these, so you only need to mix this one time, and then you can just use it as and when you need it. And yes, you can colour it. So, I don't know what colour do you want to make it. 
Well, what was our favourite colour? Pink sugar and crumbs. Yeah, something pink on it. Raspberry? I'm not bothered. Any colour you want, Cherry. Let's go with... <laughs> oh, there you go, there's a pink one at the top. Right, it's just called pink. Absolutely. Just, let me just open this up. And I'm just going to scrape down the sides because I can see a bit of um, powder down the sides. So ideally, you want to mix this so it's nice and smooth. And it's not, it shouldn't be grainy. If it is grainy, just mix it for a few more minutes. That's all you need. So, smells nice that, doesn't it? Yeah, it's very vanilla -y. Yeah. It smells nicer than it tastes without sugar. I don't think I've mix. never noticed it. I don't think I've ever noticed that before. Right, so back on. Yeah, they're all saying pink. Okay. We picked <laughs> the right colour. Oh, somebody's saying gold. Oh no, if you, well, if you're going to do gold, you want to buy the gold. Because yeah. that's um, a nicer colour. But what we could do is, if you did half and half mix, we could luster it gold after it's dried. Yes, yes. Yeah. We'll luster it with some fake hair gel or something. Just whilst that's spinning, I'm just going to grab some balls in to mix so I can get the full mix. Yeah, definitely pink. There would be one who said blue, Carinella. <laughs> There's always one. We need to have a chat in the office, me and her. Hey? <laughs> I'm having a 7 a.m. chat with her tomorrow, anyhow. I think we'll talk about blue cake lace. <laughs> So, Karen uh, Karen Breen says the doll cack, the doll class. Yes. Would it uh, be okay to attempt this being a hobby baker? Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You, there's so many things you can learn just from even if it's, you've never done one. People have done the face class today. They've never done a class before, um, and they've come out with some really really good results. So we do go through everything very thoroughly, um, and it's at a comfortable speed. As I say, if you're watching it first, even better. And uh, yeah, it just teaches you loads of new carving skills, new ways to build. Talking of carving skills, I've got to interrupt, okay? So quite a few of you have asked me, can I sell the tins from PME for this shape? But we're not going to sell them. Nothing against PME tins, but they're, ter they're not great for baking. It's very difficult to get them baked in the center unless you're using a heating core. But the whole part of the thing, and you'll never use the tin unless you're gonna make princess cakes. Yeah. So you're not gonna make that money, money. So don't spend the money on them. So I've deliberately not stopped them for that reason. What Jerry is going to do, she's going to show you how to carve. Now that's a better skill. Yeah. So that's an additional skill that you'll learn and it's something that you can use time and time again. All you need to do is buy a decent knife, which we do sell via PME. <laughs> <laughs> and it's really important because like you say, you want to learn the skills and what there's no point taking a class unless you want to learn everything from scratch. Even, you know, we do use moulds in some classes, but I always teach you how to do it without moulds too. Um, if, if that comes to the pot. Right, I've just put five grams of the um, glucose in that top, in that mix now, just whilst Carol was talking. So I'm gonna spin it again for another two minutes, just so it's all combined, and then it'll be ready. That's quieter than the KitchenAid. Pardon? I think that's quieter than the K-Mix. I, I use K-Mix, yeah. Yeah, I think the KitchenAid's are really noisy. Yeah, yeah, but do you know that? I don't know. Yeah. I don't have anything like if that, mine shakes as well. It, pump, it kind of you can, you can see it moving off the table. So Elizabeth yeah. Goddard says, "Does Carol sell this product? Which product? Cake legs? Yes, we do. This one. Right. So we sell all the pre-mixes and we sell this original one. This is the original one, so that you can measure out exactly what you want, color it what you want. So we've got all the pre-colors." And then we've got this one, so you can make it to the amount you want and colour it what you want. So Jerry is going to colour some um, uh, with pink gel, and then afterwards we're going to dust some of them, some of the white lace afterwards, so you can see what it looks like when you just dust them. Yeah. It's always handy to have a big tub of this white one in because then you can make whatever you want. Right. So I just need. To, I've just given it another stir down, just to make sure we've got a bit to the bottom, and then I'm just going to do another minute, and we should be done. So my tip would be, if you do buy it, make up about four, pot, four batches worth into one cup because that way you're going to have um, a better consistency in that bowl. There we go. So as you can see, it looks 
a bit like a meringue mix. Not quite as thick as that. It's still a bit runny, but when you do, um, like this is two batches, so double the amount that it says on the top. If you do four batches, with there being more liquid in there in the first place, you're going to get a better finish, I think. And as I say, you can always make these ahead of time and store them. Right, I'm leaving them there. <laughs> there we go. So let me just ask you another question. Paul the Bold Baker has asked, what pace would you need for the facial class? Well, Jerry used a combination because part mm. of the class was teaching you how to use sugar paste and also modeling paste, Paul. So she showed you how to use sugar paste and how to color it and how to add Tylo. She also used various forms of modeling paste. So she was showing everybody different things today. Her brand of choice today was the Kate Duchess modeling paste. She'll no, tell no. you why. Saracino. Saracino. <laughs> oh, what's this We're one doing Kate Duchess later this evening. Oh, right, okay. um, but for the class, it was Saracino. I'm sure you got that out in class today. Just to show you what it felt like uh, compared to... Right, okay, yeah, okay, that's mm -hmm. right. So, I was going to say, I've got restrained things. I wanted things. to give I you a bit of everything. Yeah. yeah, so she does go through all the different pacing class. Um, I did buzz off after 15 minutes. I didn't stay for the whole class. I just did 15 minutes. Right. So, as you can see, uh, that's that's been done now for a few minutes. And it's um, it's runny-ish. It can, you can make, if you, if you blend it a bit longer, it will be thicker. Um, but even better if you leave if you put them in these tubs now and store them um, give them a bit of time to mature so give it a few days and it comes thicker again and it makes it even better to use so personally I find that if you pre-mix these put them in the tubs and store them in the cupboard and then use them a bit later on you get a better result so freshly made is actually not as good as if you would you'd left them for a bit so just for the purpose of the class though we're just going to show you in this session so I'm going to put some white in there. Um, that's not that's quite a lot in there actually because you don't actually need that much. And then the rest of it will colour it. So shall we do the coloured one first? Right, and start it to you. Yeah, it to you. Start with the pink. Shall it's all we? very exciting that you are doing a bit of cake lace. And there's a lady said she watched your live demo the other week. Oh ah, yeah. Because she was scared before that. I'm sorry, I forgot what she's called. So sorry, lady. So, because um, <laughs> I forget what her name was, but she said she watched your live demo the other week and she yeah. hadn't used cake lace before and she's most appreciative. Oh, it's good. It, like I say, I had people messaging me afterwards too and they told me that they gave it a go and then someone had a whole table full of lace afterwards that they'd made up and it was great. just means that you can get it out and give it a go. So I put two drops of the colour splash pink in and we'll just see how strong this is. Should be a nice colour. Ooh, nice. There you go. So the shelf life on the white... Um, well mine's an old tub here so I don't know if it's normally about 18 months but yeah. it's a best before so I'll let you into the secret ladies it's a best before so I have got stuff here from 2014 when I first purchased it and I hadn't opened any of it and Jerry came here and did a live last year and I got her to open it and use it the other thing is once you make it Jerry has showed you the way to store it as well so you can store it ready made in a tub but once you've made it and baked it she shows you how to store it which is very easy you can either store it between um, parchment paper or Jerry's bought a big book with plastic leaves in and yeah. she slipped them all in there yeah, so it's just a big plastic wallet that um, you can as long as it's plastic you can just slide them in and if you get an A3 size it fits the biggest sheets uh, into your wallets nice and safely and that keeps it nice um, and protected so you can just use them as and when you need them um, so as I say if you need m like more from um, about this from t after tonight just jump onto the Studio 8 Cakes page and there'll be a, the live somewhere on there yeah. although my technology is not as good as and Carol's if, if you want one of those big things get onto to Hobbycraft and have a look on there and while you're on there order your big um, bag for your pink boards we leave our pink board out on the top all the time but for those of you who need to store it that's where you need to go and buy your pink um i'm cut something your big bags <laughs> to, to store them in so you can store them behind the settee or wherever yeah. it is you hide your pink boards <laughs> from your husbands so what we've just done now is i've colored my um lace pink and you can go as dark as you like the only thing i'll say is the more food coloring you put in it the more it'll take a bit longer for your cake lace to dry in the oven um, if you're putting it in the oven or you can put it in the just leave it out to air dry so i'll go over that in a second i'm just going to show you how i apply it so just put a big dollar pop there onto your lace mat so this one is called alexandra which is quite nice for like cupcake toppers um and you can actually use these to make little mini dresses for mini 
figurine dolls. So if you're thinking of making a, just a, a normal figure, that could be like the pleating of the dress for underneath. But um, so spread it across. So it, you do it like you're spreading butter on toast. Just kind of take it across there gently. You want to make sure that all the grooves are covered with the lace. And then you just swipe it to clean it off. So as you can see here, they've come on very nice. There's no air bubbles. Um, and we always use the, um, we don't use the top tip of the knife here. We go from about here because this bit's a bit sharp, which means if you go across that way, you're going to take off some of that lace and then you'd have to fill it back in. It's not a problem. As I say, it doesn't take long to refill, but try and avoid it if you can. So always sweep away from the edge of that knife. So that's the um, pink. And if it's white, again, you do the same thing. Now, bear in mind that when these dry, they are flexible and the white one doesn't stand up on its own. So if you want something to stand up, you'll have to use the pearlized one. So I've got a rose gold here, just so that you've got one to see. Just give it a bit of a stir before you, um, before you start using it. And again, the pearlized one's a lot thicker, it's just the metallics in the colouring. So slap that on. So swish it left and right. You're going to see on the end of this one that there's a bit of pink on there, so that's going to come through. But don't worry if you're not, that's just for this presentation. So again, I'm going to switch it over to, make sure you kind of go left and right to make sure it really gets into those grooves. And then just sweep any excess and pop it back into the top. So there's no waste to this product. All what you use more or less goes back into the top. And you'll find once you've taken off the excess, you really haven't used a lot of mix. So a little goes a long way. So there we go. If you see any air bubbles, just go back over um, with your knife and sweep it back across again. And that should help to fill it in. Have you got a bit of rose gold on that one though? Yeah, but I wouldn't worry about that. So what happens with oops, what happens with this one is um, just the pink will show through. Right. Because it's on the underside. And then whilst I've got, because it's got so many of these patterns, I might as well stick some of the white on there as well. Stick loads of white ones on, then we can luster them up different colours, Jerry. Okay. Where's my roll? Oh, <laughs> Do all of them white and then we can get some lusters out. Right. So some of these are going to have a bit of the rose gold on the ends just because I was a bit sloppy when I started putting these on. But How normally I don't do, sloppy. I know, normally I literally do, I do one colour per sheet. I don't mix these colours up. <laughs> I love it we when like you throw these things. Here. I know, you love throwing things at me last minute, don't you? <laughs> Yeah, if I'd known this, Listen, I would have brought my whole kit with me. I've got to look after my followers. You've got the whole <laughs> kit here. You don't need to bring yours. It's the only time my stuff gets used it's when you come in. It's my famous plastic wallets that I have to bring out to show everyone. <laughs> There's a few people who said after your last live, yeah. or when they've watched you before, they've been and bought the plastic wallets. Ah, good. And you can stay, uh, save in an airtight container as well. Yeah. You've got loads in an airtight container. I she have. saves it's all like the off cuts, everything. Boxes. You know, like mm. those plastic boxes. They're really just good for little pieces. And, um, you know, if you get the sequins mat, just make loads of sequins. They don't take long. It's like 10 minutes in the oven. Mm. And you just shake it off, put it in the box, and then you can use it to decorate your buttercream cakes afterwards. If you're talking, I'm going to get you to get the sequins mat. <laughs> no, we have, have you got one? <laughs> Right. <laughs> I didn't see it today. I thought I was it not it in there. No. Right. Um, there's one white one. I actually want to show you the dusting method as well. So we can dust on top of our lace, but we also can dust them up. So your idea. girls want to let you know they are watching your class oh, and they hi. are your number one fans. Ah, oh, hi girls. Yeah. So Stephanie and Lizzie are my two children. Um, and I know I'm biased, but they are angels. They're just the best. Well, they, I have to say, my John was totally amused when he met them the other day. <laughs> he said, have you met Jerry's kids? And I went, no. He said, honestly, they are so lovely. And apparently this one of them scared dogs, but she came in and loved them all, didn't she? Yeah, and she went for the biggest ones, didn't she? Lincoln yeah. was just well, there. John Daisy was there, she did, yeah. and she was like, oh, look. So she was very brave. Yeah, no, he, he, he was very impressed with them. Right, let me just get a brush. This one's clean. Um, so what I'm going to do with this one, the next one, is I'm actually going to dust the mat. So we're going to do one where we, when we baked the lace, we can dust it, and then I'm going to show you if I dust the mat too, and then dust it, and you can see the difference in um, effects. So let's go in the corner here. So just spread, um, use a nice big brush, or a, and make sure you get the dust all over. So this is the Faye K Hill. It's like a pastel pink. This one's quite nice. It's called powder pink. Oh, that's the new one, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice colour though, isn't it? Mm. 
So yeah, I did. I chose pink, so that's a good sign, isn't it? Yeah, you did. Getting... I, don't know, I don't know why I would forget. Every time I come here, everything's pink. Spatulas mm -hmm. are pink. <laughs> The towels are pink, mm -hmm. <laughs> the bowls are pink. There we go. So that's a nice, um, generous amount. So that means if you, because I've dusted the mat, it should all pick up with your mix. So again, <laughs> now you can use the pink if you want, if you want a pink un uh, overtone, but we can just go with the white, it works too. So again, just gonna slot that on like that. And then again, just spread it over, make sure it goes in all the places. And there's excess, so I'm just going to sweep that over to this side, just because so, we've got it. There we go. And again, just sweep up any excess that you don't need. So Sandy Scooter says, what does cake lace taste of? Um, Shall I give her my opinion? Yeah. <laughs> I don't do that, Carol. <laughs> I, mean, I don't eat it, because I'm not really... <laughs> that sounds really bad. You don't eat it by itself. I'm a cake maker, like yeah. but I don't eat cake. I don't really eat cake. No, when it's on the sugar paste, there's, it's absolutely fine. You cannot taste a thing. Yeah. Uh, pre that, I've never. I've only ever tasted it once, and I thought I'd poisoned myself. But I don't know whether it's changed over the years. I'm going back to way back in 2014. But on a cake... I've ne I can't, the, the taste I've had eating it on its own is definitely not the taste when you eat it on a cake. In fact, you can't even taste you, anything on a cake. Have you ever had um, rice paper? Yeah, so, that's not very tasty either. Yeah, I, th I, can, I would compare it to rice paper, kind of that weird taste. Some people yeah. like it, some people don't. Yeah. Right, so um, I've, I've, dusted, I've put all this on, so it's nice and um, flush against the mat. So what we're going to do is you can either leave this to air dry for seven, about five to seven hours at room temperature, but we haven't got that time. So um, the other option is to bung it in the oven. So when you put it in the oven, it's, I put it on for 10 minutes at about 80 degrees, 75 to 80 degrees. If you don't have a fan oven, um, that's better. Or if you have a fan and you can turn it off, that's better. Um, but we have, but Hel Helen, you're not even called Helen. Carol, right. I've been here since nine this morning. I'm obviously passing on what's going on with me so, too. <laughs> so um, Carol's oven is a fan oven. So I can't turn that function off. Um, the only benefit of, sorry, the only disadvantage is obviously if you're using things like a smaller things like the sequins, they're going to start blowing around in the oven. Um, but these ones are slightly bigger, so we shouldn't have a problem. So I say I'm going to put it for 10 minutes. Some areas like the metallic ones will be done by then, but the white ones might be um, needing a few more minutes. So we'll just take it out and check after that. So anything that Jerry said, this live stays on our page. It also goes through to YouTube as well. Mm -hmm. So if ever you want to refer back to it, just go to our YouTube channel. And in our search, just search Jerry. Or you can even go onto Google and put Jerry Chew Sugar and Crumbs. And it will bring, and then click on videos and it will bring all the videos that Jerry has done. Yeah. So prior to this live starting, I thought I'd have a quick When play. I gave her the news, she had to do something. <laughs> yes, I, I have something to show. <laughs> so um, I just had a little uh, play with the, this is Madame Butterfly mat, which is one of my favourite mats. I love that mat. Um, it's a very elegant mat, yeah. isn't it? Um, and it's very dainty. So there are areas that are a bit delicate, but they do look good on a cake. And you've got four different bands on here, so you get four different designs. Um, each There's different types of mats, and each one has, some have three designs, some have four. Some have just the one big sheet, which is great for bigger projects, but it's all down to what you want to do and use it for. So do have a look on the website. There is a lot of them on there. So this one here, uh, I peeled this one up already. This is the gold. So um, That's beautiful, that gold colour, isn't it? There's my gold gold. Yeah, so it's this one um, from the top. Oh. <laughs> Sorry, oh, go this way. Right, go to overhead, yeah. So that was this gold. Uh, there are two types of gold. This, this just normal gold and the soft gold, which is a bit more yellowy. Um, but for now we've used this one. So it's a lovely colour and it is flexible. I can bend it slightly. Um, the more, some of the metallic ones are a bit more brittle so just be careful when you do bend it. You don't want to overdo it. But with the white you can really flex that one. I can scrumple it up and, and undo it. So um, this went in the oven for 10 minutes. So this one on here is the rose gold. Now I only put it in for 10 minutes because if you overdo it, you're going to risk it going brittle, especially with this mat, because there are areas on here which are very thin, but then on this band here, you can see these big flowers, and they're a lot deeper, so it means those take a bit longer. So rather than risk 
things over drying. Put it in for 10 minutes, then bring it out the oven and just leave it to come to room temperature and it will naturally dry out itself. So the best way to um, peel these off is to flip your mat over. So a couple of ladies have just said, what did you do to put it in the oven? What did you put it on? So oh, you just, just put it straight it on the rack. Yeah, straight on the rack in your oven. Flip it in. Yeah, so you don't need to put it on a tray or anything no. like She'll that. show you, when, once you've got the lace on, it's on, you can pick that lace up. Mm. It's not going to fall off. Can you put it on the tray so you can put it in and out easier? You could, but you need a very you need a flat one, so you don't want one with the lip, um, and that's just because if you had a lip, it's going to push air underneath and it's going to pull it apart and dry too quick. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> Is the answer? <laughs> right. I'm sure, people will want it. It's yes, good I'm to sure know. I, I appreciate that. It's good. Right. So you'll know your latest on this one because it's lifting off the mat itself. Now, you do have to be careful when you start peeling this. So I always put my knife down on the table and press it close to where I'm peeling off. Oh, interesting question. Slow. Can you use a dehydrator? Yeah, so, so um, as I say, if you haven't got the... when you, I prefer to do it as an air-dried product. So if I air-dry it, it means that it, everything comes... Um, it doesn't dry it as quickly. So the de... What's it called again? Dehydrator. A dehydrator is probably going to be a bit like an oven where it's it's just doing um speeding up the process now i haven't used it myself though so don't quote me on how quickly it takes for that to dry because oh. i won't be able to give you an answer for that and what about a gas oven um so lowest setting so just what you want it to go what basically all you want to do is draw out the moisture from this product so um if you go low then maybe put it in for about 20 15 minutes and and see how it, it looks so as I say, I've used electric ovens and I've air dried and I've never gone wrong with air drying. The oven one, you if you put it in for 10 minutes and it's not ready, just bring it out and I'd rather it be left out for about 15, 20 minutes for it to come and cool off itself. And that further cooks it um, and risks it being too brittle. Or um, you need to have a play with it if it's a, an, an oven, um, a gas oven. Right, so this one is the rose gold. So again, it's flexible. And uh, you can see there, it's a very nice pattern on that one. We've got some glitter up there, Jerry. Oh, do you want to brush some on for them? Wait, wait, this so one? in that the other cupboard. This one. No one. This uh, one. I don't know actually. I've had a change around yeah. me. I actually don't know where anything is anymore. So middle right. cupboard. It used oh, to be in that one. So middle cupboard and. Is it just? Is it this top? Nope. At no. the top, right hand. Is that it? No. Nope. This one. No. No. Right. Where have we got the blisters on? <laughs> nope. No, that's that top. Well, you're going to need some blisters anyhow, wait a minute. Yeah. Just put um, in this cupboard and see if there are any. I don't know where they are anymore. What brand are they? Just so I can There's see. a whole two of them. Go back to that end cupboard then. Sorry. <laughs> we'll just have a dance around the cupboards a minute. <laughs> just if you want to see what the cupboards look like, here's your chance now. Uh, maybe they've not been put away. Let me have a look at the end cupboards. Right, let me, let me move out of the way and then you can have a... Well, I'll tell you what you can do. You can use some of these blisters then. Um, five minutes left on the oven. Right, okay, because I've got the same ones in tubs here. Right. So if I get them out for you. So we were thinking uh, you could uh, just luster with the, the glitter gold and so stuff. So many of these um, shimmery things. Are you oh, oh, no. No, I'll show you all the shimmery powders and stuff. Rather envious. So these are good for if you want to dust over the top of your lace, you can do. So there are pros and cons to doing this, which I'll go through with you. Let's get some kitchen roll. So just so it's nice if you put a bit of glitter on them as well. Yeah. So we I put the two finishing sparkles on because a lot of ladies have the finishing sparkle. So they could just right. spray. They could spray it on from their pump luster thing, yeah, and then um, just dust them to make them bling a bit. All right. <laughs> so also, um, if they haven't got them, they can buy tubs if they want. Yeah, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so what is she giving me? Sugar flare. Ah, gold finishing sparkle, and there's also a silver. Is that a silver one? There's gold and the silver. Finishing. Yeah. So yeah. So it's nice that. So very sparkly, and um, I've just noticed that one of my strips of snapped off just because it was it's probably a bit brittle being it from in the oven as I say this one's very thin but if you had it in the um if you left it at room temperature it wouldn't have this problem but it's nice that butterfly because you could then cut it couldn't yeah. you yeah so 
So clearly I did it on purpose. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so just grab these funky scissors that Carol gifted me last time. And Emma, Emma Harlem is asking, how long does it take to air dry? So depending on your mat and how warm your house is, it's, you know, it varies between five and seven hours. Um, so if they've got uh, the crystal mat, that's a quite a deep mat and, and that one takes a little bit longer. So you're looking more towards the seven. Um, so I normally do it last thing at night and make them stick, leave them on the kitchen table and then the next morning they're ready to peel. So I, I do a few at a time. So I don't just do one mat, I do um, whatever, however many fit on my table. And then I, I let them all dry, peel them all off and put them in my plastic wallet for next time. Because you will find that when you make um, these laces, that strip will go around a four inch cake, but you need that and then another, just a little bit more to go around a six. So you have to do two of these. So the best thing is make it, put it in your wallet, make another one, and then you can just pull it out when you need it. So the good thing about lace is that you can cut them with scissors. So like this strip can be a strip of butterflies or you can just make one butterfly. So I'm, I'm just taking those off like that. I've got to get another colour out. So can you just oh, tell on. them which match you use there? Have you used the butterfly one or is that this all is the same This is butterfly. Madam butterfly, yeah. yeah. So if you bend this in the middle, that butterfly will be able to stand up, which is quite pretty. So I've just been asked, can you put on a light brown luster, which I've got one called Sun Tan. Okay. Appropriate name, isn't it? Yeah. I've got rose gold on there as well. So they cute. You can have a little play with all of them. Yeah, Carol got me these. Hey. <laughs> My scissors that you got me. Yeah, I love them. Scissors, and they're really yeah. good. They're quite sharp. They're great, aren't they? Um, right, I need a brush. Every time it's someone comes to Sugar and Crumbs Kitchen, they go home with a pair of scissors. <laughs> I love that. I get, I get free and then I say to Karen, the amount of stuff that's in this kitchen, I go to Karen, where's that? She said, you've given it away. <laughs> I don't know, who did I give that to? There, there's, a, there's like a, a suntan colour okay. there as well. So this one will give you a more vintage look, I think. Let's have a look at it. That's very nice. So just an overhead there, Simon. Thank you. So here we go. Nice. It's very shimmery, isn't it? Yeah. They don't call it that that's finishing like, that's dust That's exactly what Shelper said for a vintage look, and then you went and said it. Well done. There you go. Ah, right. Okay. Hey. <laughs> Hello, Shelper. <laughs> we discussed this over the phone, actually, about vintage looks. So, ah. Right. So if you wanted to dust it over the top, um, put, I'd pin it down, and I'd just dust over the rose gold. When the white comes out, we'll do the same thing. We'll luster this over white so you can see what it looks like. But just for now, if you want to just kind of age your um, lace a bit, yeah, just give it a quick dusting. And I've only gone around the outside edge, I've not gone around the middle. Kind of hopefully give it a bit of depth. So, there's one. And then we'll just do another one here. So they do, I can see it picking up the dust. I'm not sure whether you can on the camera, but it's definitely picked up. It's slightly darker tint. Right. So that's my timer for the lace. That's been in 10 minutes. Let me just take it out and we'll see whereabouts um, we're at with it. Okay, so it's out the oven. It's still a little bit wet, so I've just left it on the counter um, just while I give this a bit of a tidy up. So this one here is the main strip that you would use on um, the side of a cake. Now it is quite a wide strip, so I do recommend that if you are going to use this, you want your cake to be about four and a half inches in height. And you just use a little bit of water, um, paint, it on, paint the water onto your cake using a brush, but you don't want too much, otherwise that disintegrates the lace. And then you literally just wrap it around like this. Because it's flexible, you can wrap it all the way around. So that goes around a four inch cake. As I say, if you need a six inch, you need about this much more of a strip. So let me pop this one side. I'm going to see if the white is peelable yet. Because if not, I might have to go in for a few more minutes. That's funny. They said, what's the sun time? They've forgotten. I've freaking forgotten as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time, hasn't it? Right. A few people have said they've got the guitar scissors and they're great. So we do sell a full range of scissors and they are lovely. Everybody who's taken them home has loved them. That one's not quite ready. I'd say another minute or two for the white, but you can see, um, you'll be able to know if they're dry because they, they should not come up on your hands. So Marcia Lord said her butterflies would not stay up, but they're not dry enough. Did you use the original white or did you use a pearlized colour? Because that would be handy to know. I'll let you know in a minute. Okay. So, 
I'm just going to put this on. So my, my oven's turned off. Um, I'm going to open the door and I'm actually going to put this on the door. And that gives it a bit of heat just to help cook it through a little bit more. It doesn't need much longer. So these dusts, a few of you, um, they're called burnt sugar flare. I have shown you loads of times. They're big pots, they're 25 grams. They're for refilling your pumps. You know this. You know your um, finishing sparkles. They're for refilling them, or you can use them just to luster on. It's entirely up to you. You can paint with them as well, so you can add rejuvenator and paint with them. They're fabulous. We've got a full range of them on the website. So I have shown you before. I've lustered cakes with them, and um, I'm going to be doing it again over the next few weeks, so you can see them. So that the silk, the finishing sparkle. This one on the end that I've got in my hand. That's. Um, what I've pumped onto my princess as well actually so she's yeah. actually got a bit of sparkle going on there with her but it's a massive jar these are great yeah so I'm just gonna put the lid on here because I'm very clumsy and if I don't um they, I'm gonna tip something over well, you could have been doing a live <laughs> with me on Thursday they were everywhere didn't ah. they were everywhere did I Simon it does get around doesn't it eh? it's just, it's I just sat here bombarded and all sorts of stuff I'd give up where I was you're just right. the lids around all <laughs> <laughs> so um the, as I said, the lace isn't quite ready. It still needs a few more minutes to kind of um, heat through. Or do you want to make a model then? Yeah, I can do. So I'll show you, we'll come back to that towards the end when we, um, when it's a bit safer to peel because I don't want it to rip. So anything like this, the leftover lace, if there's, that's, that's enough to cover another lace mat. So rather than waste it, you can put it in a, an airtight container, like a little plastic tub. Don't put it in the fridge though. Just leave it in your cupboard at room temperature because this thing... You don't want to draw more moisture into it so if you put it in the fridge it actually will go moldy so do you want to just put some cling film over the top of it so it doesn't yeah go again it's okay for now so i can leave it. i'll just put some at the end and then we'll just move our mixing bowl so so geraldine allen says carol can you please just say thank you to jerry i've noticed where's it gone i've noticed she is always so helpful and responds so promptly to any questions anyone posts on the class FB pages. Oh, you're yeah. so welcome. It's part of what we do though, isn't it? Yeah. If you've signed up, as I say, I'm always there to help you. So um, I want you to get the best out of it as well, because it's nice to see results. So what we're going to use is the Kate Duchess modelling paste. So as, as Carol said, I've got my words mixed up again. As Carol said earlier, what's that? Oh, oh yeah, sorry. Yeah. sorry. So right, I've just seen a comment there so that um, Dean asks collects dust, but they, and then Angie says she collects them too, but they go out of date. Dust don't actually go out of date. To be fair, what they've started doing now with dust, they've started putting 10 year dates on. Lots of things that are best before actually do not go out of date. Best before gives you a premium quality. After that, it's a bit of like just testing and seeing how it is. Um, they're hoping, the government is hoping that by 2026, they will actually abolish best before dates. And we all go back, I don't know what we all do, we all go back sniffing again like we used to. Sniff, smell, use your common sense. Um, because we are throwing billions and billions of pounds worth of perfectly safe edible products away for no reason whatsoever. Yeah. And, um, and that's really very sad. So a best before, go and Google it, it will tell you. It's not an out of date. There's no legal requirement to reduce the price at all. And dust, um, most suppliers now are putting 10 years on the dates because of this reason. It was designed as a selling feature, i.e. get it used, get it out the cupboard, we can sell you another one. Yeah. So, so, so it's not to be confused with used by date. Yes, used by date. It's like with our icing sugars. Our ice, icing sugar doesn't go out of date. It's perfectly safe. You know, why do you think they had it in open sugar bowls? Sugar. What's it? Is it sugar, isn't it? it? Yeah. Uh, it's sugar. sugar why do you forever. throw it all over your worktop? Why have you got it all over your rolling pin? It's a perfectly safe product. There's nothing wrong with it. If you leave the bag open, it will not come to any harm. The only way, if you splash water over it, you'll have a problem. Yeah. Right. So, whilst we're waiting for that lace to dry, let's go ahead and actually make a model. <laughs> Which is what I was here to do with my son. <laughs> so, um, in my class, I use Saracino because you can achieve these standing figures. So again, just bring this one over. So all these three models are made using Saracino. One, because it's quick, uh, you get a quicker finish because things stand up quicker on their own, they set quicker. Um, you can do the sitting ones with just normal sugar paste, but add a bit of tilo in there. Um, but, and for this session right now, we're gonna use the Cake Duchess modeling paste, which colors really well. So that was white. And I used um, Colour Splash Latte to mix this colour. 
So it does take two gels as well. So if you want to use gels to colour it, you can. So I'm just going to, as I say, for Chinese New Year, which is next month sometime, but I can't remember the date. <laughs> it's the year of the ox or the cow. So I thought, well, we've kind of got a farm setting going on with those figures over there. Might as well just add the little cartoony cow. So the basis of this one is very much like uh, if you were making a unicorn, so you can adapt this anyway. So what we want to do is roll the ball. Just cup your hands when you do this so you keep this ball shape. And then you want to taper it at one end to make a neck. Like that. Okay. So we're going to do a sitting up cartoony one. So that's our um, the main body. So as you say, as I said, you can use this to make lots of different animal shapes. You can, like pandas, um, bears, they all start off with this shape. And then we're going to do our legs. And again, this whole body, um, the arms and legs are constructed using these sausages. So I'm going to roll them out first. So I want two legs that are the same size. And then I'll decide at the end whether I want them as the arms or the legs. So they're about the same. No, a little bit more. So if they're not quite right, just take a bit off. That'll do. Right, so that's... They look like the arms to me. Yeah, so that's where my my arms are going to be, my front legs. And then I'm going to do the back legs. So the back legs, it's the same thing, but I tend to make these a bit shorter, just ever so slightly. So a bit more stumpy with a slightly fatter um, back hoof. So this is really fits really good this stuff it's very pliable and you don't have to so with the saracino i find that when you take it out of the tub it's best to just warm it up in the microwave for a couple of seconds to heat it up um, and that makes it very nice and soft this one you don't need to as soon as you take it out it's quick to kind of shape up so i'm just going to roll um the base of this foot onto the table and spin it around and that gives it a flat foot like that and then i'm just going to roll it again just to smooth it off on the legs so there's one and then we're going to do it again, so if you missed it the first time, try again. So just again, spin it, and then when you're happy with it being flat on the bottom, then you just kind of roll it again there, just to smooth off the sides like that. And then that's going to be the side legs. So if you find that they're too lot, if it's sticking out too much, you can just trim a bit off. So I'm just going to go grab my coffee now. So here's my cutting mat, let's just pop that on there for now. So normally I bring my cornflower bag and it is sitting there but I've not had to use it at all today. We've so, got one there for you. Where? Right yeah, that's mine. Oh is it? Yeah. <laughs> but I've not had to use it. Ours. <laughs> yeah, I've not had to use it. It's, um, <laughs> everything's not sticking today, it's great. So again, I've just taken a, a little edge off each side where it sits onto the body just so that it helps to push it in. So I'm going to turn it that way and you can see there. Yeah. And then I'm just going to flip it this side. So this modelling paste is really good. And it is important to find a good modelling paste when you're doing any kind of sugar work. Because it does make your job a bit easier. So as I say, this one is nice and firm. And then I'm, even with the arms, they're already sticking to the sugar paste, which is quite good. So I don't even have to do that much um, modelling with it, really. When you use normal sugar paste without the Tylo, you'll find that you might need to like blend these sides on just to help it stick but that's not going anywhere so happy days so here you have the basis of the body for your animal so again take it how you want you can use that to make lots of other animals now just because it's a cow i'm going to give him little hooves on the end of his feet so you can use little circle cutters if you want and just make little circles or for me i'm just going to roll a ball and then use my end of the rolling pin and just squish it down a bit makes a nice circle so you want that circle to be about the size of your um, back foot there so I'm just going to eyeball it put a little V out of the top because I think that's what they make cows feet look like the hoof seems to have this little um, funny cut out and that should sit just on the end there like that so that's one and again, you kind of, I'm just going to do it again, and you kind of get used to sizing the more you do with sugar craft. So um, I'm just eyeballing it again how much I think, how big I think it needs to be. Just tap it on the end there, and again, cut out a V. 
Oh, thank you. I can't see. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Too busy focusing on the camera. And, and poor well, Carol's sat there trying to look over all the boxes. And yeah. stuff. No, because I'm looking on comments on my phone and it's on silent. All I can see is all the words over everything. <laughs> there we are. So we have our who's there. And then for the front ones, you can also add a little strip if you want to create that who for the front. So for the strip, just going to roll a sausage and then flatten it down with a rolling pin. And then I'm going to just cut a neater strip out of that. So she says without it sticking to her. So just make a nice neat strip. And then that's going to get wrapped around each foot. So I'm going to do two of those. So just whilst I'm trying, so I can see it, I'm just going to spin this foot round. And then you can even take this off really. <laughs> Sorry, <laughs> Dina says, why does a cow have four legs? Don't I'll know. tell you the reason why. I don't know and you don't know and neither does the cow. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, is that, is that a joke? It's like a dad joke, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know whether it was a joke or not. I don't know. <laughs> well, I suppose it doesn't have arms, does it? It does have four legs. Oh, yeah, they do. Does it, does it have yeah, arms? they do. Arms. No, they are called legs. I just call them arms because they look like arms when you're making. Yeah. But does a horse have arms or four yeah, legs? That's legs, isn't it? That's legs. Yeah. Do yeah, all right. animals have arms or legs? Or are they all legs? No, some animals have arms, don't they? Like monkeys yeah. have arms. Monkeys have arms, have yeah, arms monkeys, don't they? Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I'll, I'll go and use that my dogs that. afterwards and decide whether they're front legs or arms. <laughs> yeah, front legs. No, I'm, still front legs I'm trying to yeah. decide whether my cat, my dog thinks it's a cat or not. It keeps sitting <laughs> on me like a cat and does all the cat things. Right, so I'm just going to do another one. And then, if again. It, if it walks around on them, they're legs. If it picks up its cup of tea with them, they're probably arms. How many monkeys do you know have a cup of tea? <laughs> just the ones on the, the, the <laughs> yeah. right okay now that's a good oh, source yeah, of reference that isn't it so if they walk around well, uh, if they walk around if they walk around with them the legs and if they pick up a brew or a drink <laughs> or pick up anything they've got arms right why is a milk and stool three legs because the cow's got the other oh <laughs> they have started now there's going to be no oh. sense there we go. They all one. have legs because they have no thumbs. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear, we've started. <laughs> What's going on? <laughs> right, so I've got my my um, front legs <laughs> with the hooves and I've just cut a slit up them so they, again, they look like the hoof, the middle bits that are sectioned. So when you look at it from this angle, they look a bit more hoof-like. Right, so again, if you want to make a unicorn, it's the same thing, you kind of use that same face, okay? Um, you see the unicorn and a cow are the same thing. Well, in this world they are, yeah. <laughs> but it's our imagination, isn't it? <laughs> we can make it whatever we want. That's what I tell the kids anyway. Whether can you make me this? And they're like, don't look like that. Well, it will. In my world, it looks like that. <laughs> so the tail, just a nice long tail, and uh, I've got that brown there, so I'm just going to use it. And I'm just going to make a little raindrop to make my cow. Disney characters only have three fingers. Yeah, that's been too much watching of things here, isn't it? That's <laughs> what happens when you're It's after nine dance. o'clock, the, cl the cloak has been lifted. <laughs> but the dogs have dew claws on their front arms and legs. Yeah, they do. They have what? Dew claws. Oh, yes, they do, yes. Which I think are weird. What are they for? Useless, aren't they? Yeah. Apart from they get in the way when you try and cut the hair and stuff. Yeah. <laughs> right, I'm just using my dressing tool to flick the end so that it looks like it's got hair on the end of that tail. And then I'm just going to attach that to my uh, cow's bottom. So I just slide it underneath. It's a bit easier if you just kind of slide it under there. And all my work, uh, I, I make it as I go. So I, I don't really have the space to make them ahead of time. Can you just they, remind I make them on the cake. Can you just remind them what paste you're using, Jerry? So it's the Kate Duchess modelling paste, which is this one. So and why are you using that one today? Um, so just because it's, it holds the shape really well. It's a much firmer paste to work with, so you, you can use regular sugar paste, but with Tyler if you want to. Um, this one, you, don't, you just use it, it comes out the top. And it really, it's good for holding shape, so if you're making a standing up figure or a, a standing up animal, you'll notice the difference than if you were making it with just sugar paste. With a normal sugar paste, you kind of get these wobbly legs, don't you, after a while, and they start sagging. And what about Saracino? So and Saracino is fantastic as yeah. well. So I was going to say, I like Saracino. We sell, it, we sell them all. Figures. 
yeah it's good to know yeah it just depends on your projects and your preference so so this one's slightly softer to work with yeah um which i really like so with the uh, cow's head i'm going to make a pear shaped head so i start off with a round then i'm just going to push my finger in there wiggle it about a bit and then just pinch the side and then you kind of see this um can you see that from that there. so you get this kind of pear shape that comes out from there and i um, just going to use a ball tool to put some eyes in. So make some eye sockets first with a bigger ball tool. And then with a smaller ball tool, that's small enough there. Just going to make two more little... There we go. They've started, aren't they? <laughs> what do you call a cow that drinks too much coffee? Over, cow fit, over caffeinated. Boom, boom. <laughs> Right, I'm gonna, I'm gonna see if I We're can these literally jokes. Them not laugh because I'm really bad. I actually I laugh at all the worst ones as well. Oh, so bad jokes, bad jokes. I, joke, so I, I laugh at all the No, I'm not gonna read them out anymore. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm just gonna put two. I'm gonna do dot for eyes for this one because it's easier for nice and quick. So drop two balls of sugar paste in there. Then we can make the. Um, the nose part. So at the moment it doesn't really look like a cow. Oh, I've got to read them out. What type of films do cows prefer? Musicals. <laughs> Musicals. <laughs> I'm trying my best not to laugh, but I know I'm going to end up snorting at some point. Some Go on, give us a snort. <laughs> oh, they're the good ones. They're the good ones. Keep them coming. Mm. Right. Let's um, let's make this nose. I like to do the nose as a different colour, just to give it a bit of contrast. So I've got the um, latte colour that I mixed with my white and just put that over the top there. So it, they always seem to look better once they've had this thing put on their face. It's getting worse. What do cows have for breakfast? Muesli. <laughs> if you, I'm so glad that we're not doing a bet here where you, we'd have to lose money if we laughed because I would be skint by now. <laughs> all these like where are you getting them from where are we getting them from they're easy and they're they, 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 they well. quick aren't they they yeah, are quick and they're all I'm, I'm going, slow for, a with I'm going for a lie down after right there's my nose and then um, just because so it doesn't really look like a cow right now we're just going to add some brown um, black patches everywhere so with the patches you can just splat them wherever you like I just put blobs on the cow first they're saying they're easily pleased Mm. It's nice to have just a little bit of banter though, isn't it? Eh? No, I, that's what I like about coming on. I, like, I don't know what I'm going to say. I like smiling. We don't like being miserable here. No. Right, so I've, all I've done is put a little blob on my um, head and then I've just smoothed it with my finger to kind of get the patch in so it makes a more natural patch. You can spread it out as much as you like. Or as and I've like. just realised I forgot something and Karen reminded me before I left the office. I've done the draw for the like and shares because we didn't go live on Friday, but Karen will be back this Friday, don't worry. Yay. So I'll do all the like and shares on Friday for everybody. So we'll do them all together. So we owe you for last Monday, excuse me, Monday and Thursday night, like and shares. And we'll owe you for this Monday and Thursday. So we'll draw them all on Friday. Feel free to like and share. Please do not share into the class groups. Um, because they get very upset when they've got to go through the, through the feed and all they find is liking shares. <laughs> go and share them with your friends, with your neighbours, your local gardening club, anybody but not the classes. You're already in the classes, aren't you? So yeah. been a, and you've come from the classes come here, so we know you're there. <laughs> what drink is named after a cow? <laughs> Engelbert Udder drink. <laughs> what? <laughs> Engelbert Udder drink. <laughs> Is he still alive? In? These guys are party. Do you know who Engelbert is? I forgot. He's a singer. In fact, in fact I forgot what his real name is now. Umperdink. Umperdink. Yeah. Well, I think he's called Udder Drink. I think it's his real name. <laughs> I wonder whether he got teased for that thing. Pardon? The, 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 but Umperdink. Yeah. That's yeah, his real name. I don't know. Why would you have that as a stage name? I know. Some people. Oh. Right, I've just put a cocktail stick through my little um, dude because then it can hold up the head there. So again... Um, oh, he's looking cute, Jerry. Yeah, yeah. If you make the eyes a bit smaller, it's even cuter, but I'm going to keep them as they are. So um, he needs ears, and then he needs little horns. So I'm going to do one brown, no, one um, white ear and one black ear. So 
So just gonna literally squash a bit of sugar paste to one side. And actually, I'll show you what's good. I might have to keep my hands clean. Just use black and I'm trying to use white now. That's not a good thing. So um, with, the, with this modeling paste, because it's, as I say, it holds its shape quite well. So when you do things like ears, you can actually manipulate it a little bit. So let me just roll this out. So you can see here, I've got this um, like a leaf shape. So if I pop it on here and just use a little bit of pressure on my dressing tool to press it down, just so it's anchored on, you can kind of make the thing stand up. And again, you can't, you can do this with sugar paste, but it needs to, there needs a bit of extra time to hold it in place. So sometimes you need a bit of tie low, but that, Holds in quite well. That's cute, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, now this is regular sugar paste, a black one. So as I say, you might let's have a let's have a little experiment and see whether it it will flop or not. Mm -hmm. So, I'll try to make it so if any of you are looking for a webs uh, website, if anybody looking on the website for sugar paste, I've not updated the sugar paste. We do have the cake duchess in, by the way, but I've got to, I've, I've updated all the stock tonight. I came rushing in, said to Jerry, Jerry, I can't speak to you. I've got to go and update the stock, don't I? You were busy. So, <laughs> so I went and done that. So I've just got to do rainbow dust because Simon came and grabbed me at one minute to eight and said, are you getting in here or not? So, <laughs> so, so it's not been done. Um, and Fractal Colours, I've spoke to Fractal today and their shipment has left Hungary because it's come from Hungary, which is amazing. I ordered it on the 2nd of January. I was the first order of the year. Oh, very and good. And it's only just left Hungary on what, the 18th of, <laughs> 18th of January. So hopefully we will be up to speed with Fractal next week. But they're on the way. So that's but they're on sign. the way. Yeah. yeah. Um, what am I doing? Right, so let's make some horns. So I'm just going to make cute, two and little... Like um, well, depending on the eye, because eyes really do make the thing um, turns it turns it around. So you can use yeah. these dot eyes if you make them um, a bit more cartoony eyes, like we did in the class today. Um, you can make some really good fe features, but it's just because of you'll time. have to join the class to learn. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> but just because of time as well. I just I, I want to get you another figure in here before. Yeah, they love it so cute. Yeah. So he's just, actually very cute. Just drop two little horns in those holes. So I make the horn the holes first, just so it makes it easier to drop something in, and it means it holds up the shape a bit better. If it's amazing just, how it all pulls together, isn't it? Yeah, yeah it's it really quick. So um, and so yeah, he's he's all white round there, so you can just add extra little patches here and there, and it just turns him a bit more cow. <laughs> so they're saying we must give the cow a name, and the first one on that was. Maureen Bailey, she said, his name is Jerry Dorsey. Jerry Dorsey? Yeah. Don't know what that means. Does that mean something? Jerry Dorsey? No, but when she said Oh, that... is she talking about Engelbert Umperdink? Is his name Jerry Dorsey? Oh, I don't I know. I think she might be talking about Engelbert Umperdink. Uncle, but, uncle, but, oh, I don't even know what it's called. It's called Udderdink at the moment. <laughs> so, oh, yes, he's called George Dorsey. They are, and he's 84 now. Oh. Oh, so still good. Oh, I wonder why he in. called himself Engelbert then. It's a very strange stage name. Isn't it? Dink. Mm. It's so weird. Like all talk about him. Yeah. Weird about we that are? guy called Engelbert. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <true>. What? <laughs> <laughs> hey, it's old records, didn't it? So it <laughs> definitely works. So I'm just putting um, random patches here and there, and just spreading it out with my thumbs. So we've got another joke for the cow. So oh. Cicely said, what is a cow's favourite move? The sound of music. <laughs> and the cow, somebody suggested Maisie the cow. That's Jackie. Maisie, okay. The lover, he, she is gorgeous. There you go. Just add another one at the front so it looks a bit more cow-like. So there's our little cow. And got, you can make them any size you want, obviously, this is just for demonstrating purposes, but it's a quite nice size to go on top of like a, a four inch cake or a six inch cake. My models tend to be about the size anyway when I'm making them for customers. Um, and I'm just gonna add a teeny bit of white in the middle of those eyes, just to give the, put a light catcher in there. And that's too big. <coughs> so with the light catcher, I'm literally just using um, tiny little ball of icing and if I split it in half that means I've got two even balls and just pop that on there and on there there we go so we have our little cow Ta -da! so I'm going to put them on the board oh so cute 
Isn't that cute? What do we all think of that? Like Come cow. on then, everybody. So, there we go, we have a cow. Oh, he took his stage name from a famous composer. Ah. Oh, a very knowledgeable audience that we have here. Yeah, we know the clever, aren't they? I would not know that. Right, so now that we've done the cow. They all absolutely love that. Loads of love hearts are coming in for you. Hey. How, long, how much time have we got, actually? Just uh, I don't know what next. time is it. Yeah, oh, we've got loads. You've got 25 minutes yet. So, <laughs> Elaine Wolsey said, sense? would you make a cat in the same sort of way? Yeah, so for the cat, just make the body a bit more slender. <laughs> Um, I've got to just tell you this one. On. Martin Griggs says, All you people trolling with these jokes, you are all cow odds. Cowards. <laughs> Cowards. <laughs> coming in, coming I'm going to go and have a lie down after. So. <laughs> I'll be humming these in the car on the way home. I know it. I'll just have cow jokes on, in my head. He needs a wife now so, so he can be the udder arth. Um, the senior cow needs a flower. How do I come back to that? A flower? Yeah. Have you got anything that I could... I've not got any um, cutters. Have you got any cutters? Let's see if I've got one. Uh, yeah, I've got some cutters. If you go... I, I might have a bunch. Oh, there you go. Yeah, that go with trude, yeah. Right, good job I bring spare things, isn't it? That's not <laughs> unusual. That's Tom Jones, that, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. What would you try to think? No, because somebody was saying that they prefer Tom Jones. Ah, I think oh, it was he's about amazing to... though, isn't he? Oh, Tom Jones is amazing. I mean, yeah. he's just celebrated his birthday, hasn't he? On um, this show. Okay. Oh, yeah, what is it? and he, I think he's eighty. Is it? Um, but he was on The Voice. Crumbelina. Um, he looks amazing. Crumbelina for the name. Oh, Crumbelina. That's a nice name. Yeah. Uh, right, this yellow is a little bit sticky, so I'm just putting it cold. Everyone on loves there. her or him. So we're getting he's lovely, I love her. It's got horns though, does that not make it a boy? No. Oh, do girls get horns as well? Do girls get horns as well? Yeah, Someone some Google it. Yeah. Do, cow, ho do girls, cows get horns? Should we put it there? Girls. So I'm just going to pop that on. So, da -da. there we go, she's got the little flower on there. The little touches. <laughs> right, let's... He, she is... All oh, right. <laughs> he, she is utterly gorgeous. Ta -da. Right. Oh yeah, that looks nice. That finishes her off. Right, I'm gonna see if I've got time one. to make horse. He or she is utterly gorgeous. <laughs> <laughs> you tell me all these jokes, it's like coming on to half nine. <laughs> can you make an thinking. elephant? <laughs> an elephant? What on a farm? Hey? Can a farm a chicken? No, we can't have an elephant. We'll have to do that for jungle theme next time. I will actually. I'll come on next time and we will do without the lace and we'll have a bit more time and we can do the animal. Unless you want more lace. Um, and I'll bring the kit and all my stuff. Right. Oh, I've got to keep Let's telling go these jokes. What do you call a cow in an earthquake? Don't know. A milkshake. <laughs> Your kids are going to love these tomorrow. Yeah, wait till you tell all the kids these tomorrow. They're going to love them. I might, do I don't even know if the kids, kids are still jokes. watching. The kids still watching. I don't know actually. Kids, are you watching? Please tell us about a cat model. You have been waylaid, and I would really like to know that. Right, Janie, I'll What's shut that? up. Get on with your cat. Oh, do you want to make a cat? Oh, yeah. I was going to make Apparently a horse. Apparently, you were going to tell him about. He was going to make a horse, was you? What yeah. do you want? Do you want a cat or horse, you lot? Right, stop doing anything. Right, go on. Cat or horse, because Janie said you were going to make a cat. But what do you all want? Cat or horse? Cat or horse? Cat or horse? Cat or horse? <laughs> They're saying it's a boy because they're girl as others. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's a bit of a tranny this one because he's now wearing a he's now wearing a flower on his own. Well, you can't see anyway because the the front it's covering its modesty, so it doesn't want to see the other the other the others. Right, oh, this one's making, funny. Two cows are grazing in the field. One cow says to the other cow, "Aren't you worried about the mad cow's disease that's been going around?" The other cow replied, "Why would I be worried about the mad cow's disease? I'm a rabbit." Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I like that one. Right, let's do a quick you cat and then I'll pop that out of the way and then if I've got time I'll try and do the horse. I'll just, so, <laughs> just wait for the tumble. You guys are pass. nuts. <laughs> right, I've only got this brown paste so we're going to make this weird brown coloured cat but you know, you get the idea. for the, Right, the stop shape. telling me jokes, I'm interrupting Jerry. I'm not going to speak anymore, I'm going to turn comments off. Right, so this week um, I, I made a sphinx cat for um, a customer order, so whilst it's still fresh in the head, might as well make another one. Oh, look, they all Semi. want a horse. Oh, they want a horse? Oh, we've got right. a cat. I've got a cat now, Two so cats. give me a second. Right, right I'm not going to read out any more comments. I'm actually turning it all off because, Jerry, I never get time. She's got to get back to cake lace, right? No more comments being read off and turning my phone over. <laughs> Just so you can see, look, it's her phone. It's off. off. Right. Okay, so <laughs> with the cat... I've just put um, 
little padded foot there and, and the haunch on there. So I'll do another one. And again, if you want to make it a rabbit, this is where it kind of looks a bit rabbity as well. So the good thing about the Kate Duchess modelling paste is that everything seems to stick together. So I don't even need to blend things in, unless you don't like these seams or you want to blend them in. Just use your Dresden tool. But can you move? I so like I this. See. Oh, sorry. Yeah, sorry. I'm just thinking about your audience. Like your second place at the moment. <laughs> Listen, I'm not, not the reading, best seat in the house. I'm not reading any more comments. These like they've gone bonkers. <laughs> Turn my phone over. Oh, I don't, have a good laugh I don't, when know, what, it. I don't know what they're all muttering about now because I'm not looking. <laughs> <laughs> so don't forget, like and share, like and share, like and share, but not into the classes. So there you go. For that leg. So if you want to make Looking a rabbit, like a kangaroo at the moment. Yeah, rabbit, kangaroo, <laughs> and cat. There you go. So actually, I'm just going to push that back. Um, so if I put my finger there and push the front, it kind of gives them a bit more of a side pro a better side pro definitely there. looking like a kangaroo there isn't so it? yeah how come you've ended up making it's a, a rabbit i thought we were making a no we're making a cat we're, we're making a cat. cat it's a oh, color it's, a it's the color oh, right. but you can use this to make it a base for all the other things <laughs> <laughs> so, how does a cat look like a rabbit it, well the basics the, the, the foundations are the same aren't they i've no idea because so, i didn't recognize a cat there i only recognized a rabbit well i'm a dog person so <laughs> <laughs> right let's pop this on there we go. Put my leg there. And again, if you get a Dresden tool, you can kind of shape, you can blend it in, in a bit. I saw a kangaroo before I saw a rabbit. <laughs> Might make it into a kangaroo now. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think it's the colour, it doesn't help. So originally I made this colour to make a horse, but then I don't think I've got enough sugar paste now because I've used it for other bits. Don't worry, I've got loads of sugar paste in the cupboard. So what I'll do is we'll just stick to this. But you can make them any colour you want. As I, I say this in the class, if you were following the class, you could make any colour face you wanted just to get you in the practice of making something. So let me just spin this round because I can't really see on the camera whether these are... Um, oh yeah, there you go. A bit wonky or not. Right, so our cat. So felines tend to be skinny and long. So we've got skinnier legs. Do they? Yeah. Well, well, as well, on a, on, in general, when you think of a cat, although I know those um, Burmese ones are very fluffy, aren't they? It, the, well, this is um, your standard cat, your, your alley cat. <laughs> we have these posh ones. So you can stick a tail on the back. You can have a bushy tail if you wanted. Now, the good thing is, because this sugar paste is firm like that, um, I can make this neck quite thin. And when I put the head on, it's not going to sag. I'll still need to put a cocktail stick through it just to give it a bit of support, like that. But you should still have a neck at the end of this. So for the cat, and I'm just going to put my, um, I'm going to do my cat from overhead. So if you just stick me on the overhead there, um, Simon, and I can, yeah, brilliant, thank you. And then we can just put, pick a quick head. What are you eating? Mm. Oh, calibre. Mm. <laughs> Poor Carol has not had anything else to eat today because she's been so busy uploading stuff onto the website for you all. I've been working at the warehouse. Yeah, so that's the problem is that you become so, obs you get so into doing something, you think, oh, I'll have food later, I'll have food later. And then before you know it, it's half nine in the evening and it's the first thing you've eaten. Right, so there's my um, eye sockets and my eye. It's, so let's put some in my black bowl. Gone quiet now, I'm not reading comments, am I? Yeah, I'm hey. it. Maybe that's what I should do, turn my phone off all the time. <laughs> it's got a bit eerily quiet now, mm. I'm not quite used to it. Right. Are you missing them? Do you want me to have a look? Yeah, I'm a bit. <laughs> right, just for the, the nose bit, I'm just going to do a slightly different colour, so I've just added some white with that. Yep, they're all there. <laughs> I always read your comments as well afterwards. When I've gone home, um, I go back and re-watch all of this just to see if there's anything that people have asked or any of these jokes that I've missed. <laughs> so I'll be there under the cups and be little giggle. Does anyone have that as well? Like um, when when you go to bed and you know you you know you should be going to bed, but then you suddenly get a, like a, a giggle fit. Yeah. And you you cannot stop yourself, and the silence makes it worse. And that, that's me, like, most... I do that when I watch some of my lives and realise what a dick I've made of myself. <laughs> <laughs> so, for this bit, I've just put um, a little ball on the bottom there and then just press it down with the dressing tool. So that's the bottom lip. And then for the 
um, those little padded bits on either side. I'm just going to put two little raindrops on either side. Oh, too big. Don't need it that big. And again, it's looking like a rabbit more than a cat. What's going on? Yeah. Things change when they come into this kitchen. They don't, look, they don't pan out like they're supposed to. Right, this is what happens when you wing it. So I'm just going to flick these out so it looks a bit more whiskery-ish. You could call it a rabbit. It is. It's a, it looks like a rabbit, doesn't it? If you want it to be a rabbit, it can be a rabbit. <laughs> suddenly, it change suddenly gone from cat to rabbit. We've forgotten about the horse. <laughs> So give it a little wispy look. And I have not got any pink made up, so I'm going to go for black for the nose. But normally we go for a pink nose. And then I'm just going to squish this down a little bit because their faces are a bit more elongated. It looks quite funny. It looks like an otter now. <laughs> well, I was just going to say, yeah. Linda, uh, Leslie, I've had to have a sneaky look. <laughs> Leslie Evans said it looks like a seal. Yeah, it does, doesn't it? <laughs> hey, I'm, I'm good at this. I'm, I can make like multiple mm. animals out of one one form. Yeah. Call it Somebody else make. said it's looking art. like an otter's head. It's art. Interpret it your own way. <laughs> so I'm just going to make some ears, which hopefully will turn it a bit more cat-like. But we'll see. We'll so end up with something, won't we, animal like? We always do. Or a beaver. Yeah. Like. Oh, be does it look a beaver? Oh, I suppose it does. If you put teeth there, it would. Yeah. Well, Alex seems to think it looks like Simon. Are you that cute? <laughs> <laughs> I am well, that's what I was wondering. Yeah. I've, I would never have said Simon was cute. Oh, I put ears on it now. It looks not like until he sorts that frigging beard out. Right. I've got a beard just like Why that. have you not sorted out? This has been going on I for two weeks now. Out. He has got a rather yellow I beard. I know you've had a shave. You haven't sorted the beard out, have you? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I've done what colour is it now? Oh, I've not changed the colour. No, you need to change the colour. Oh, I'll give it that. I can only see natural. the end of it out past your mask. Right. The rest of it right. natural so, colour now. Is that, that's not natural colour. That's natural colour, isn't it? So let me put it back on the front view. Oh, that looks like a cat. Ah, looks like a thank you. Oh, it looks like a cat. Yeah, Yay. look at that. How cute so is that? Go. So it's more about the shape. Wow, Actually, look I would, at that, I would everybody. probably do the, um, She's got the chin a bit. Just Come on, let's give her the hands up for this one because we've gone from a kangaroo to a rabbit to a beaver to an otter. To a seal. To a seal. To a cat. And, and eventually a cat. cat. Ta-da! So, He's got a yellow ginger orange beard. It's so friggin' awful. I'm gonna add that to my collection. It is quite yeah, yellow. Jenny thought it was a fox at one point. I know, it did look quite fox-like. I was saying, if you ever need to make any of those animals, you can you know, just come no. back on the slide now and just follow <laughs> that and then just change the colour. Um, right, let's see if we can get some love for it. a horse. Absolutely love it. So, how much time have we got? What time have uh, you have got... Oh, 25 minutes. We've still got 25 minutes. No, that because was... I told you the wrong time. You had 35 before. <laughs> Sorry, I know. It was because it was 25 past. All right, okay, okay. You've got 15 minutes. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Time. I was like, I just want to make sure I can have the time to make it. I looked at 25 past and said 25 minutes because I wasn't thinking. <laughs> right, so let's I've try and make day. a little pony of some kind. So these are not going to be scale models compared to like the cow and the cat because right now the cat's about the same size as the cow. But you would never put all these on the same cake anyway. They're saying it's adorable. You are so clever, Jerry. <laughs> no, it's good. It's what happens when you wing it, isn't it? You come up with all sorts. It's amazing. It's a right. baby cow though, isn't it? Yeah, but then look at the size of my cat and then look at the girl. So the cat's massive. It's a big cat. It's yeah. like the, cat, the main the cat's coon as big world as the kids. The cat. I mean, it's like a main coon. Look at the size of that cat. It's big. Get more for your money. Well, the cow's smaller than the kids and the cat's bigger than the kids. <laughs> Right, to make a horse... Oh, yeah, we've got a vote monster. for Simon's beard. Shave it off, shave it off, shave it off. I agree with you 200%. Get it off, get it off. But he likes the beard. <laughs> <laughs> have you always, have you always had a beard? Get him off, Simon, get him off. Have you always had a beard? No, yes. he does it to wind me up. <laughs> See, I think he found, he found it so weird if he didn't have it. It's really? like keeping him warm. As soon as I started here. He yeah. did. <laughs> I've right. shaved it off once or twice, didn't yeah, I? You have yeah. shaved it off once or twice and you look yeah. far more handsome with it off. <laughs> there you go, Carol's spoken. I don't spoken, want to be so... fighting women off all the time, though, do I? <laughs> well, we can protect you from the women. We just need to get rid of the beard. Right. We'll put so, a big sign on, Simon has a girlfriend, buzz off. <laughs> I'm just making some legs the same way that I did the cow. And the again. same, what a fabulous day they've had with you. That's Margaret Aww. Kirk. What a fabulous day we've had with Jerry. You guys. Thank you so much. I have to say, I was very impressed with how many of you decided to take that chance on me and, 
and actually take the course. But now, some of you have done other courses with me, which is fantastic. But some of you, the, the today's class was their first time to do any course. So that was really nice, yeah. just to know that you... I think this is your biggest so audience you. in this class, wasn't it? Was this your biggest class? Um, I don't know. I need to go back and check, actually. The members-wise. You get a bit confused when you start seeing notifications <laughs> pinging through. And obviously, I do try to answer all the questions that you do send me. Um, that's how, as I say, we have that support network going on. So with these legs, I've just made the same thing, uh, same way I've done the cow's legs. But what we're making now? We're standing them up. Um, well, it will be, hopefully, a horse by the a end of it. Horse, but who knows? It could be a white horse anything at this point. Yeah, right now, it's just a slug. <laughs> so, call it what you will. It, well, what else could it be? Call it what you will. It's it could a be. as big as the cow. Yeah, <laughs> it's the seal when it does that kind of on, when they walk on the on land because they're not very graceful on land, are they? So how many of you join in the princess cake? So if you're going to join the princess, and who wants the bodies and limbs class? Because today in class they were saying that they wanted the bodies and limbs class, and if you do, I could really do with knowing because I don't want to set it up if you don't join. Yeah, so we could do with doing that one. But the princess cake, I think you're all going to die when you want to make that one. I think you're going to, I think you're going to be over the moon. And the fairy cake, uh, the fairy tree cake, ladies, come on. And the baby changing bag. We've got to support all our tutors because I want to keep these, keep bringing these tutors back for you. And we can only do that when you buy their classes. And you know it doesn't take much for me to come back anyway. Like, <laughs> well, you've got no choice. I just down worry the road. about I'm on the phone, Jerry. <laughs> Down the road. It's not that down the road. <laughs> well, an hour. <laughs> it's my. This is my happy place. I come back here just because it's my get out of get out of homeschool. <laughs> right, back legs. I've just made them a bit more bent because they have those back bendy legs. Oh, I think they want. I think they want the bodies and limbs class. They're coming up. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah, oh, I suppose I had to come back. Yeah, so we'll do bodies and limbs, and of course you'll have all your heads ready. So the thing yeah. with that class is, all of you get your heads ready. And then you can make the bodies and limbs in the class and then you can pop your heads on, can't you? Yeah, you can. Mm. Just make sure that you make sure you make a hole in the heads so that you can put them on. Yes. Right, so I've just bent this two back legs. So if I leave these to set for a few minutes, then hopefully they'll be able to make, hold their shape up like that. But again, if it was normal sugar paste, you'd end up with floppy legs, things sagging a bit. So it's a very good point that, Jerry. Just go and grab one of your heads and just tell them that they need to put a hole in it for when they do your oh. bodies and limbs class. Oh, here you go. The bodies and limbs class will be in March then. I'll get a date off, Jerry. So, so make sure if you're going to make your heads ready for the bodies and limbs, make sure you put a hole in it. So there, I'll put it on a lollipop stick. Impale right her. Yeah. So have them impaled ready for when you get to do a, your next class. Yeah. And yes. I was going to say, if you don't want to buy dowels because they're, they're expensive, we sell loads of lollipop sticks, which are perfect, really. And I think you get 50 in a packet for not a lot of money. Oh, that's good. So, well, you may as well use them to yeah. buy dowels, aren't you? Yeah, well, you use whatever you, whatever's um, lying around, well, mm -hmm. I do anyway. Right, for the body, so I've made my four legs, just going to give them a bit of time to set, and then I've got my body now. So body is one long piece, it starts off with, this is the bum end, and then you just kind of, <laughs> <laughs> you just kind of make yourself a thinner neck and then bend it up like that. And then to make the head, we're going to take this end here and just kind of pinch it with your hand and thumb. And if you just keep going, you'll get this um, elongated shape that comes out like that. Okay, so you could, at this point, it could be a dinosaur now. So look at that, we're making dinosaurs as well. You want to make a dinosaur? Stop mm -hmm. it at this point. Right, so just going to get my dressing tool to kind of shape the neck so that I have a bit more to work with here. Could be a dog. It could be anything, couldn't it? I'm, I have to say, I'm quite impressed with the map things that I can make out of one shape. <laughs> <laughs> right. So, um, right, so horses tend to have um, a, a slopey down head here, so I'm just going to brush it down there, give it a pinch here like this. So if, when I do it at the same time, you can see it, it's kind of tapering a bit now, so it looks a bit more horsey-like. If I lie it down like that, you can see. And then um, we're just going to give it some eyes. So again, I'm just going to stick to ball eyes for now because we haven't got a lot of time. So I haven't got time to faff around with the shapes. And a bit of black. But it's good this, to just to show you how to make a quick model of something. But again, the actual sugar paste that you use really makes that difference. Because I wouldn't be able to do this so quickly in um, if I was just using regular sugar paste. Is that the same time? So something is looking like a duck. Someone's at, Lisa says a swan that's eaten its way through lockdown. 
<laughs> I know the feeling. That's all I seem to have done this whole Christmas and before, and before that. But it's, you know, everyone says we just wipe off last year, don't we? Didn't exist. Right, just gonna twiddle it a little bit so that I get a thinner neck so that it looks a bit more horsey-like. Jackie said it could be Nessie. It could be Nessie, yeah. Um, so just to make it a bit less nessy and a bit more horsey, <laughs> I'm going to just give it some nostrils. So I'm going to use the pointy end of my Dresden tool. This is something that someone pointed out in the class, actually. So they have a Dresden tool too, but their one is pointy on both ends. My one is pointy on one end and it has like a spoon shape on the other. If you buy the PME sets, they yeah. are, the PME sets, we sell a full caddy set. And you get the smiley one in there. You get the yeah. whole load of them in you there. You also do a cake style one. We do a cake style yeah. one, yeah, and that has that has it on there. Yeah. I think um, would the one that they use the Dresden tool. If they use the Dresden tool for um, mm -hmm. was it FMM that they had? I think it's two pointy ends, isn't it? Because it's called flute and vein, right? On there, whereas the gem ones. Dresden tool might yeah. have what you've got on there. It's that little spade, yeah, it's isn't little, it? Yeah, it's like a little spoon on the end, mm. which I always use. Yeah, the Cake Star set um, has got that in, and the um, the PME Caddy set has got it in as well. Right. So whilst this, oops, it's quickly six my ears on this horse. It's going to sleep. Look at it. So again, for the ears, I'm just making a leaf shape. So make a teardrop first, and then flatten it. Oh, I like this comment. This is really nice. So, uh, wouldn't it be lovely one day in the future, Carol, if we could all meet up at a huge dinner event? I'm an extremely shy person in real life, but I feel this this group has been an absolute godsend. Um, I tell you what I do plan to do when the lockdown, when we can all meet together, when things get normal, and I don't think it's going to be this year. I don't, I don't, I don't want to say anything, girls, but... I really think things are not going to be better till next year because I mm. think we're going to be on this in and out process for another 12 months. I may be wrong, but I don't know. But I do want to get my um, demonstration. It's not mornings, days. So what I'll do on those days, I'll be, I'll be at the warehouse on a Saturday, £10 entry. There will be a demonstration by me either morning or afternoon and we'll get a tutor in for the afternoon or morning, whichever. So Jerry <laughs> said she's happy to do it as well. So she's happy to come along oh, come and on. I'm sure I'll be able to get other tutors and we'll do them once a month um, and we'll have tea, coffee and cake throughout the day. And it's a great way for everybody to meet up and we'll do that at the warehouse. Got a massive big car park at the new place. And that's what I'm looking to do because I think that would be a great place to get you all there. I have no idea. Plus, bring your purses and spend lots of money. <laughs> <laughs> Give us some ideas though if this happens. Like, what would you like to see us make in the demonstration? Oh, we're not giving them choices. Ah. <laughs> No, but there's that's people that, like I know that Karen Davies will come, uh, I know uh, Marion Frost, if it is, is all yes. over, will come back. We'll be able to get Molly Robbins there again. So we'll be able to get loads of places. And uh, the last yeah. time we did the demonstration mornings, we had to hire a place. But this time it will be actually at our own place. So I'll use the money then to go towards treating the tutors to some money then. Thank you. <laughs> a treat. You do, you do. <laughs> you do look after us. Yeah, so, I do look after all the tutors, actually. It's nice. Yeah. So there's never a time when I'm not welcome here. It's um, both by you and John. Right, so I've just um, put some cocktail sticks through the front legs. And I'm just trying to share, see which way around it goes. Now, my um, horse looks like a llama and also looks like a deer. But that's because we've not got hair. So as we've done the magic cat thing, you hopefully it does the same with this. Right, so with the back legs, I'm also going to put um, cocktail sticks in. However, you've got... I'm trying to give it the illusion so that it still looks like it's got a bendier leg. So when I do it, it should be going down this way here. So I've still got a bend. Now, hopefully this it will hold up. Now I know with a Saracino it, ha it absolutely holds up when you do it this way. Um, this one's still quite firm though, so I'm, I'm hopeful. I just need to get some pliers to snip this off. It's a um, cocktail stick. So I don't want these too long, otherwise they're going to come through the body. So just a quick snip. And then I'm just going to literally sit this on top of there. And hopefully it will hold up. It says it looks, um, so Janie says, it looks like the different ears is what brings the models together. It's suddenly yeah. looked like a horse. It has actually, You yeah. just need to know the basics really. So if you know... 
the basics you can kind of figure out so this could be a camel if you had a hump <laughs> it's, it's just what you uh it, once you get to know how to make a few of the basic ones you can turn them into other things so at this point um i'm just wary of time what you would then do is you'd use your dressing tool to kind of go around all the joints and blend them into the body so that helps to support it and it helps to make it look like it's actually part of the same animal so it's not just stuck on so and for your back haunches you can add a little bit of extra paste there as well so it's got a bit of a fatter back haunch which is very well important. they're all very excited about our demonstration days so yeah i do agree it would be like a little mini kit cake international but yeah. we'll put we'll put on food we'll put on food we'll make you all welcome but i don't know when it's going to be it's when we all feel safe again because I was going to do an open day for our pl our new place in October, just gone, and then it got cancelled. And now I'm scared of booking anything now. So let's just wait until we get the all clear, and then we'll start looking at things. But I am worried more about next winter, to be fair, because I think we'll probably end up going through it all again. Yeah, I know. Well, I'll, I'll be honest with you, because obviously... In um, my family, I've got a family in Hong Kong and there was a time when SARS came along and um, that was a really big knock for them as a country and it did take them two years to recover from mm. that. So, you know, you have to be mindful. But don't lose hope because, you know, no, we all fight back. We're all yeah. fighters, aren't we? Just support each other in this time though. Yeah, just lock everybody up and then hopefully we'll have a meet up in the summer. Lock up anybody you know, stay in. We'll be all right. I think we will be alright for summer, yeah. but I think it will all happen again come the winter. Well, as long as the vaccine works, we'll be alright. We'll mm. Yeah, so we have got the vaccine now, so hopefully yeah. we'll That's see. That's if it works, that vaccine. Yeah, we don't know if it's going to work yet, do oh, we? What's he doing? Don't do that. <laughs> I've been pessimistic. Working. It's I'm not work. pessimistic. We're going to prove it's got to work yet. We've got to wait whether we grow two heads or not. Oh, what? Hey? I'll have to charge double money coming in. <laughs> My horse is fucking here. <laughs> So I'm making, I've made the back legs. He's got fat legs in, Jerry. And uh, you can twiddle them now. So if you twiddle them, you can make elongate the legs because the back ones are a little bit too long. So I need to make the front ones a bit longer. I suppose it depends on what kind of horse you're making as well. If it's a shire horse, they've got quite chunky legs at the bottom, haven't they? So, um, yeah, they do, don't they? Yeah. But they don't have chunky legs. They leave the hair to grow, don't they? Yeah. They're quite nice. So I have. Otherwise, they'd have chunky ankles. I would say that this pace is probably just a little bit too soft right now. I'd have to give it a bit more time for so things to set a bit more before assembling it. But again, Saracino one. If I had more to show you, because I've used it all up. Oh, I've got that, loads of Saracino. Oh, Saracino. Oh, that one does work. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But why didn't you one... tell me Saracino? Well, I've, got thought, it, I've got loads of it. I don't know how much you had. So, oh, loads of it. Oh. Right, so that would work better, just because this one's not. It's it's um, getting there, but it just needs a little bit more time. Oops. You want some you know, you, you Yeah, if you've got some, I'll help. I'll take some. Thank you. How quickly? How quickly we can make it? Yeah, it's just those legs, really. The body's fine. Mm. So it kind of, it is standing up, but it's looking a bit messy. So, I mean, on the plus if side, Jenny doesn't you talk. Should I knock one of these up in two minutes? While we watch. Well, if I don't talk, why hey? is been talking? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, if you don't talk to you, <laughs> Well, the thing is, I stopped looking at the comments and then somebody said, oh, Carol's, I know. Carol's right, blocked us out. Side, and I see, oh, no. Right, let's see. Because it, it, does, it does make a difference. This stuff is so much firmer. And again, it comes out rock hard, you can hear it on the table. But you just need to ping it in the microwave. For I remember seconds. when we first got Saracino in, the amount of ladies that rang me and said, got this modeling paste carol but i think there's something wrong with it it's rock hard yeah. i cannot and i said no you have to break off little bits and then mold it right, whilst we've got that going i'm just gonna bring this back because i like some to task Yeah, I do agree. Let's all of us get jabbed up first. Make mm. sure we're fine. Then we can do some car sharing. Right, so just because I'm waiting for that, I'm just going to grab this um, lace that we put in the oven. And you can see it just peels off like that. It's dead easy. And this is the pink one. So, as I say, if, you, if it wasn't dry the first time around after that 10 minutes, just leave it out at room temperature and it will, um, it will dry 
and you can peel it off very easily. So there's the pink one. To be fair, looking at these comments, I think we're going to have to do a weekend. What? We'll have to do, do a full weekend so that people can come up and stay in the hotel and make a weekend of it. Know, and that, that way at night jobs? time I could go, we could get get a hotel and all meet up and have a sit down and a chat then. That'd be good, so though, they could it? watch a demo in the morning, coffee and cake in the, for lunch, a demo and do the shopping, demo in the afternoon, go back to the hotel, all meet up for fish, uh, meet, meet up for tea and have a chat and then do it all again the next day. That's a proper holiday. No, it'd always be a weekend. It'll be a Saturday and Sunday. Can't do weekdays because people are at work. Yeah. Yeah, we can take over the Premier Inn. There's one just down the road. <laughs> right, I'm just gonna quickly check my sugar paste. Carol's gonna jump on to just show you these colors um, with the cake lace. Yep, got them. Right. <laughs> Who's gonna jump on? You are. What for? Just to show you the cake lace that's on the table. Oh, uh -huh, right, oh, okay then. I don't know what I'm going to do, but here's the cake lace. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's have a look. This is the pink. Oh, see, oh, love it. look at that. Yeah, Simon Overhead. So the pink that she made from the white, look how lovely and flexible that is. Look. And as Jerry shows you, look, you can fold it up. Look at that. There you go. Ding. Look at that. Make a little bouquet with that, couldn't you? And then open it all up, and it all opens up again. There you go. That's the white, that's flexible. Well, it's the same stuff, isn't it? And then this so one here. Colour, you can dust it. Yeah, so this one here, that's the one that you made with the gold cake lace, isn't it? Yeah, that's the one. And then gold. these ones, let's have a little dust. Ooh, let's have a little dust. Have we got some brushes here? Yeah, yeah very sure. Yeah, there should be a little pink one there. Yeah, you can do that one. Let me just get the. Welcome uh, to the one you dusted in the corner. Pardon? Well, have you dusted one already? I one dusted one dusted the one dusted the mat. Yeah, Where is so it? That is a lighter colour one. So the lighter oh colour yes, yes, dusted. yes. So when she did the pink in the mould, look at that. I don't know if you can see. See, that's the white. So that's all white. And then the one that she dusted in the mould with the pink, look. And then if you turn it over, it's white. Look. That's clever, isn't it? There you go. So you can dust your mould. And then that's the white one. I love that pink though. Isn't that lovely, that? And then you got with the gold. So then what you can do then is, so we've got this rose gold here. So if you wanted to, you could just, look, look let's dust them. So that one's we've just done with the uh, Sugar Flare rose gold. Plenty of it in stock, girls. Nice big tub. Look at that, 25 grams. So um, perfect for dusting your cakes with. Let's have a look at another colour. What else have we got here? So this one is the gold finishing sparkle. So uh, those of you who've got pumps, just open your pump up. So you can buy it in a tub, but if you've got the pumps, then what you can do is just dip your brush in your pump. Ah, and you're glad that I asked Jerry to do some cake lace. I love getting here, getting the lace out. <laughs> she said, she always says, job. don't you ever get fed up of it? And I go, no. It's like how Laura comes. I say to Laura, Laura, can you do some marshmallows? She goes, Mum, do you not get fed up of marshmallows? No. Can you do fudge? No, I don't get fed up of that either. <laughs> so Laura's in on Thursday making marshmallows. So she's going to make it with whipping it up. So you remember that mix that we've made? It's a multi-mix, not a one mix. So, you know, so we've always made our whipping it up as a multi-mix. That's what it came out was. It never came out as one. It came out as a multi-one. That's the single, that's the silver sparkle. Loads of you got the silver sparkle in the um, pumps. What else have we got here? So let's do this suntan colour. So that's the suntan colour. Look, that's darker oh, again. That's nice, yeah. Nice, that suntan colour, isn't it? Colour. Yeah. So there you go. Just dust them up so you can dust up your lace as well. Isn't that lovely, that? I'll pick it up so you can see it. I should have got you some. Did you make any more? Mm, there's two more pieces. So they look nice in those colours, don't they? Do you want me to get a couple of blues out? Let's get a couple of blues out. May as well. Seeing somebody was asking for blue, who we should be having a chat with in the morning. <laughs> Okay. So, so if you remember, Jerry did say she'd gone over them there. So let's just get a couple of other colours out. So, yeah, it's not a bit nice over them, but you can, the colours are quite nice, actually. Yeah. Oh, oh, oh. So let's see what other colours we've got here. So perfect for you to do. Let's see what we've got. Um, 
I've got loads of colours in this range. Let me find a blue. Oh, we've got frozen here. You might love this for your princess cake. Ooh. Hey? Yeah, I'll have that out on the day. Yeah. So whilst Carol's doing that, I'm just over this side of the kitchen and I'm just making the same legs I did before, so you're not missing Oh, out. you're speeding it up, yeah? Yeah, I'm just making legs. You're making slimmer legs this time. Yeah. Well, not so much the slimmer, Let's see what else just the... They're more like my little pony legs, so they're fatter. But you can make skinnier ones, but you need to give them time to dry out a bit. This is the electric blue. What does electric blue look like? electric blue. Oh that's nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. So that just shows you can luster up your uh, thingies. Let's see what we got here. Oh we've got lime green here. Fusion green. I don't know I don't know what colour they're gonna come out now anymore because their brush is uh, got every colour in the sun under it. <laughs> Sorry Jerry. All right. They get bunged in the car and they get home and they get washed and they go home. Do you wash them, you see? We don't wash yeah, our well, brushes. Yeah, well, in the corn flour. Though. In the corn flour, yeah. Yeah, you swap that. Did I teach you? Yeah, oh, you yeah. was paying attention then? Yeah. Yeah. I get all the good tips. I don't let anybody wash our brushes. Well, it's a bit like, well, it depends on the brushes, doesn't it? You don't want to risk them um, splaying off into, no. and losing their shape. I've got a black here. Let's see what the black looks like. Let's go for it. Oh, it's nice and glittery, that black. So I am making a little bit of a mess here because I'm just enjoying myself while Jerry sits down there and makes another horse. So, so I'll let her have her space legs. back in a minute. Mm -hmm. Hey? As I've just done the legs, so hopefully they will firm up a little bit quicker than the other paste. So those are there. So let me get you a clean bit, stick that on there. And then let's just let's get the dark gold out one second. Oh, dear I've never me. seen you work so fast. Hey? I've never seen you work so fast. Are you? I feel like Speedy Gonzale at the moment. This is you. Cool. This is Regal Gold. Oh, I like Regal. How about the Regal? Yeah. Something about it, isn't it? Very Regal. Very Regal, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I might have to get a clean brush here, Will. Look at that regal like gold, isn't that lovely, that regal gold, look at that. Look at that, isn't that lovely that? How about Simon? Can you see it on there? Can you probably see it better there? He looks very focused. Hey? Simon looks super focused. I'm not. Hey, that. <laughs> I'll just do the other side as well. Hey, very quiet. Because he's thinking about shaving his beard off. He's going to surprise me. Go, da da, Carol, shaved well, it off for you. Scott, you won't see it. He's going to, he's going to, he's going to go. I'm going to impress my boss, and I'm going to shave my beard off for her. She's only been minding me for eight years. And this one is dark gold. So we'll just put that on. They are, they are. Loads of sugar flare colours there for you to see. So let me get some clean tissue paper. Oh, oh that's fabulous. Get some clean tissue nice. paper. I've made a right mess there. Now you can come back and do your little horsey. Yeah. And there we go. 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 You can see them there, can't you? Mm -hmm. That's great. All right. There we go. All right. 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 Hi. Good. Right, you ready? Yep. Okay. So I think this part is slightly out of the way. I'm going to Sorry, I'm just going to pop this off. Hey, they look nice, though. All right. So, whilst um, Carol's tidied up, Make um, just mold this horsey again. So at 
the moment, that other horse, as, if, as I said, if it had more time, the back legs needed to be a little bit firmer. So if they were a bit more set, he'd actually be fine. But right now, he looks like he's doing some kind of buckaroo. <laughs> <laughs> right, let's get back on here. On my lovely dusty surface now. That's all sparkly. Right, so as you can see, it's not, because it's not soft, it's too soft, it's kind of warping and you can see it coming through there. So let's try and amend that. So these, this is the Saracino, which again, is a, it's a lot firmer. So fingers crossed, second time round, we can get this. Do, do, do. And I do use this one for my standing models. So as you can see with this dude here, um, the man with the green trousers, he's made a Saracino. So, and fully standing. And again, when you come, we come to do the class, we'll show you how to make that one. Right, so my horse, I'm going to take these apart and just use the carcass. So, sorry, not your legs. Right, so we've got our horsey head and we'll stick those cocktail sticks back in. So, fingers crossed that you'll be able to see this now because the shape's going to hold better. Michelle Quinn, I've had the vaccine and the side effects are it's made me very fat. <laughs> Michelle's actually a nurse. <laughs> She was the one who gave me the two head jokes. She was the one who said, I'm having my vaccine tomorrow. I'll let you know if I grow two heads. So, <laughs> I hadn't thought of it until then, Michelle. It's quite daunting though, isn't it? You know, going for the vaccine. Mm. Pretty sure there's no cases of extra heads being grown. Well, we've got time yet. They've only just been given out. Could take several <laughs> years. It's amazing how a spot can grow into something pretty nasty. But anyhow, I'm going to go for it That's myself. Useful, Don't worry. Though. Yeah, what? Be, you spot me over there. Thing, you know when they say they need two of you. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know right. if people could cope with two of me. What about you, Simon? They've got superpowers, though, wouldn't they? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait. Bring it on. Right, let's try this. Just because this pace is much firmer. Let's have a go. So. <gasps> God, I can't believe this comment. <gasps> Lisa. Lisa, Rachel, Meelin, it can't be during the football season as Manchester City comes before cake. Can you believe it? Before sugar and crumbs. Oh my God. Banner. <laughs> right, that's a bit better. Right, fingers crossed. So I've just built a new body. It's a bit smaller than the last one. And then I'm just going to twiddle the legs so that they're the right height. So you can kind of stretch this one, it's quite good. And it might help if it goes up to the top. There we are, so we have the head poking through. Right, so we've got a leg there and a leg there. Crikey, I didn't realise how many comments were going on why we did that. What, while she was doing the dusting? Yeah. All oh, right. I'm trying to slowly try and catch up. I'll have to go past a load of them. So what I like to do is, not give him cross-legged feet, but the best thing to do really is to kind of build these legs and then you can build these bits on top of it afterwards and blend it in. That's what I do anyway. So lie down on its side and again the paste is great because you can patch things up and blend it in. So Patrice O'Donovan really loved the live tonight. She's pretty new to Sugar and Crumbs and she'll definitely be booking up classes with Jerry Chu. Oh, thank you very so much. Thank you very much. So everyone say hello to Patrice. Patrice. A lot more gets done in the class, by the way. Yeah. We do go and we do finish our classes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we just have a bit more fun during the lives, don't we? That's what it's about. So it's the, the lives are there, a bit of entertainment, but you know, little taster sessions to see what you can achieve. Um, and then obviously some of these get moved on into classes. Although, judging from tonight's horse, you won't be booking on if they did a horse class. I do <laughs> promise you, they do look better when you have the time to do them. But when you've got 20 minutes and you're rushing it, and the first one's a disaster. <laughs> so, as I say, the, the Saracino is great because you can blend it in, and you can build up a bit like um, actual modelling clay. So when you do clay work, you would build up your models. So this is great. So if you can, ideally you would want to let this set a bit and then you can stand it up. It doesn't take long. I just I put the legs in the fridge a second ago just to help firm it up a bit. 
Just so you know, we're five past ten. Oh. Get a move on. Overtime. Right. <laughs> I'm Sorry, everyone. Take as long as you want. I don't think they care. <laughs> but we did say, didn't we, that in a how long to make these lives? Because sometimes you have so much to do that you want to put in a live that you will run over time a little bit. John doesn't get it. He said, can you not make these lives half an hour to an hour? I went, no. <laughs> Takes half an hour to do the intro. <laughs> It doesn't have to. <laughs> John was in here. Hi, bye. Here you go. <laughs> That's why he's not in here. Yes, I have been in when he's done the live. But he's helped to do the bin on the other side of the camera where Simon is. Uh, do you go that far back when John was on the cameras? Yeah, do you, yeah, Jerry? Is that yeah. how long you've been doing yeah. lives with us? Crikey. When it was you... a nightmare, wasn't it? I think it was five. Was that when he waltzes off, off leaves the camera while he's in the ago. fridge? When I was, when was that? This is our, well, we're just going to go into our fifth year. Yeah, so I came in and I think the fourth when you were in the first kitchen and you were yeah. in your house. And then, yeah, that was, that's so where we that's were. that's when I first joined. Yeah. <laughs> it's been a while. Right. Can so again, in your own time, you would want to make us a bit more neater. But for now, we have, at least it's standing up. So some of you are asking, where can you buy this? You're on the Sugar and Crumbs Live. So everything that we do on our lives is on our website, www.sugarandcrumbs.co.uk. Yeah. The paste that Cherry's using at the moment is Saraceno. It mm. comes in loads of colours as well. And I've just stocked up plenty of red because I know loads of you need red for Valentine's Day to tell all your loved ones. So. Um, by the way, I put those um, little cake toppers in as well. Um, so I put those in. Go and have a look what's on what's new because there's loads of stuff on what's new. Um, I've not done no wish list for ages actually, but go and have a look what's new. There's loads of things in there. Things for Easter as well. Just to catch up as well, I spoke to Ollie the Chop because a few of you have asked about him coming back. And he's going to do an, ex an Easter extravaganza class. Ooh. Easter extravaganza. Yeah, extravaganza. Uh, yes, because yeah, an Ollie extra likes to give you extra. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> well, whatever it is, he's doing one of those. So he's going to work on that. Claire Corbett's coming back. She's going to do cookies because you have asked for cookies with royal icing. And she's going to do cookies with whipping it up. Mm. So versatile, that product of ours. So remember, it's the only product that has been brought out as a multi-use mix. There was no other product like it. Right, there's my horsey head. I made him a bit smaller this time just because I'm worried about it not holding up. So... Just give myself a little cocktail stick to go through there. There you go. Pop the head on there. Okay. Yeah, he's looking like a horse. Right. A bit more horse like the colour is really off putting, I have to say. It's a weird colour for a horse. But a why did you colour it could brown? Be a llama. But why did you not colour it brown? Because I've we have time. <laughs> 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 you need sleep. <laughs> I need sleep. <laughs> And I think everyone has been really good. They've stayed on for so long, haven't they? Especially those ones who've been with you all day. Know, it's amazing, it is. isn't it? They're you with guys you all are day. amazing, honestly, you are. So remember tomorrow, ladies, we've got buttercream flowers. Uh, buttercream flowers tomorrow, two o'clock. So buttercream flowers is a class that I do every Tuesday. Now it doesn't actually start again. It's finished for Christmas now, and then it doesn't officially start again until the end of February. So no new members have joined. But what I've said is, because I was supposed to be going on holiday on Sunday, so I was going to take the first few weeks off in January, Where then go going? on holiday to Dubai, oh. then I was supposed to be going on holiday for two weeks, and then when I come back, have a week to come back and find out what the hell was going on with everything, and then start the class again. Anyhow, that's not happening, so I decided to teach myself a few new skills. I'm not quite sure whether I've achieved that yet, but we've started off with striped cakes. So tomorrow we're going to do our last two striped cakes in class and then next week it's and then that class has now been opened up to the facebook page so you can come and watch us at two o'clock on this page and um, the reason we're streaming it in bus cream flowers is so that when we close the group we can save it to units i've already started saving it to be fair and then next week we're doing isomalt Ooh. that'd be fun won't it yeah so i've got loads of isomalt to put on the website so there is um we've got squires cake star and Saraceno isomalt, yep. and then I'm going to put one. some coloured ones on. And then the week after that, I think we're doing Buzzy Bees and Honeycomb. And then the week after that, I think we're doing Fabric Puff. Mm, that's something new. With Kerry Griffiths, you know, his mould. We're going to do a cake with his Kerry Fabric Puff. 
Here's a guy, yeah. I always thought the name was a girl. Yeah, right. I've yeah. never met Kerry before. I remember, so. I've never met him. He's actually really very nice. But I remember when I first emailed him about doing the live, and he emailed back and said, can I just tell you before we start this conversation, I am a bloke. All right. Well, I'm all right then. <laughs> I'm just really know. bad with names in general. I don't, I'm not very good with, um, remem- not very good at pronouncing names yeah. or knowing where they originate from so. and then butter cream flowers starts the last week in february <laughs> when the group when the group closes and it starts the last week in february and we'll get back to making flowers again yeah that'd be nice and right. then so we've got that class tomorrow then wednesday we've got the nifty nozzles class half past 11 start on wednesday we're making an umbrella cake uh, don't forget tracy man is on tomorrow at night at half past six thursday tracy man is on at half past 11 then it's baking biscuits with the girls on Thursday afternoon. That's the grandchildren. They will be back. Ruby and Jasmine. Aww. You all seem to enjoy watching them last week. And it would have been a good idea if I'd given you the recipe. But Karen had weighed it all out so lovely. I didn't even think to tell you the amounts. So this week when we're making biscuits, I will give you the amounts. It would help, wouldn't it? And um, then Friday, Karen is back in the kitchen. Oh, Thursday night, Laura's here. So loads of things to keep you busy every day this week. Very, very busy. What's on Wednesday? Wednesday is the Nifty Nozzles class. Oh, I didn't even say that. Are yeah. you doing Wednesday's class? What classes are you doing this week? Tomorrow. You're doing tomorrow? You're doing Wednesday? No. What are you doing on Thursday? Just the night? No. Right, my horse has got a bit skewy with me. So, I'm not doing much this week. <laughs> don't judge me on this one model, please. If you yeah, ever want to see what I do, um, you can jump on my page and see the actual models I make. <laughs> mm-hmm. But in the 10 minutes we've had left, um, I'd say you've got a quick one that's been churned out. So I'll tell you what we'll do, because I'm back next month. <laughs> You're going to do it again? I'm going to do a proper <laughs> one so they can see what it looks like, because this is disgraceful. So um, so the plan is, next month I'm back, and I'm supposed to do um, jungle-themed animals. Yeah. So um, I'll be more prepared, and I hopefully won't have to do cake lace, so a bit more time. <laughs> to actually do this part. We've given you an extra 15 yeah, minutes. You did, you did. I know, but I'm not a genius. Like, well, actually, I think it looks minutes. like a nice horse. It's a cute I think one. it looks like a cute horse. And I think the, the reason you'll cut off is because of the colour. I think if you'd done that in brown, that would well, have been different again. If we had a bit more time, I think, obviously, there'd be a lot more, it'd be smoother, because this does not reflect on how good Tarachino is. Um, the, as I say, all the figures that we've made are lovely and smooth. And they are made for Saracino. It's just that because of the 10 minutes we've had. <laughs> Horsey here looks a bit sad for it. It's a bit sorry. I can pretend the kids made it. <laughs> yeah. So, right. ladies, if you want to join the facial expressions class, it's £25. It's on the website. Do join it. It's been a fantastic day today. You learn everything. Loads of different faces. Um, I'll get Jerry to go and grab them again just to quickly show you. And she oh, also so shows good. you a few, um, uh, some hair as well, um, on the heads as well as on their yeah. chins, right. uh, eyebrows and mouths and things like that. Next month, the next class is the princess cake. And then the month after, we're going to do the limbs and bodies. So um, I think that'd be great. So lots of things for Jerry to do. And when she does a class, she does come in then and do a Facebook Live for you. Yes. So we'll just turn these round. So this is so, what the ladies learn in class today. And there's two heads that are on the bodies there. Do you want to take them off again? Or are they so, stuck on now? No, no, they can come off. So they're the heads. So you do learn... Um, Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There was nine, ten. Nine. There's twelve in total that you get to learn in the class, which is um, fantastic, isn't yeah. it? So I think we touch on everything. So I've just grabbed this one that's on the body. So that's I've just taken her off. So again, this one she's got hair as I well. I love her the best. So we had the addition of hair. Well, that's thanks to the the members that joined the class. So they actually had the input. So during the class, they had the options of what they want to make. Yeah. And that means it's a bit more tailored for you and your needs too. So I'm going with the flow. So if you've got wild pink hair, you could do pink hair. You could do blonde hair. You can do anything you want. If you see what Jay McDougall made today, she made some very strange characters, didn't she? She went really cool. They were were fantastic. But what they were very gothic. They were very gothic like that she made, didn't it? So you can sort of tweak them to your own theme. We had a lot of fun. He was on there today, wasn't he? Yeah. So if I just move this over here, you can have a quick look at the man. So. The man here, and again, his head does come off. You can just take it off now. Yep. But um, we we showed you how to do a man's hairstyle and as that well. Girl's head was on one side. And then we had the girl in the ponytail. Yeah, she was there as well. And she actually had a different hairstyle at first. We had long hair, and we just quickly altered that to make this 
princess hair. So and yeah. in the princess cake, you are going to learn to make a face again for the princess cake, but just one. But Jerry's going to plait her hair for you. Yeah, so she yeah. has got a lovely plait, and uh, we can also discuss about different styles of hair as well. So if you don't want to have a cloak, you want to have a hairstyle, we can discuss that in the group. Yeah, there's absolutely. always time. Yeah. Yeah, so join up. So I'm not going to come round again because I may as well leave Jerry there. So I just want to say a massive big thank you for joining us tonight. If you go over to our website, sugarandcrumbs.co.uk, you'll see everything there. There's lots of things in what's new. The, the, the paste that Jerry's used tonight is uh, the Cake Duchess and Saracino. Yeah. Okay. Um, ice and malt's in. Loads of colours are back in. Um, they, weren't out, they weren't out of stock very long, actually, just over the weekend, but they're all back in stock. Uh, Renshaw, I will be putting on the website as soon as this live finishes. I'm going to have a cup of coffee with these two and then I'll go and put that on stock. Um, and then I will see you all tomorrow. And Simon will be with me tomorrow, won't you, Simon? I will. Yep. Fabulous. Simon's joining us tomorrow, 2 o'clock. Are we, have, are we um, giving a prize for today? Yes, there'll be a like and share. So do a like and share. We're going to do all the prizes on Friday. So there'll be two weeks. So last Ooh, Monday, winners, last Monday and Friday. Last Monday and Thursday, and then this week it will be Monday and Thursday as well. So we get will sharing. see. It. Yes, get sharing, get sharing, get sharing, and get joining the classes, everyone. So thank you very much, Jerry. Thank you, as per usual. You're thank always you a superstar. Me. You must be extremely exhausted. Adrenaline's still going, so there's be enough energy to take me home, and then I am out for the night. Nice. Good girl. <laughs> but thank you so much for having me, and I'll see you next month. But you'll see the rest of the crew here tomorrow. Absolutely. <laughs> bye bye. bye.